Hello, everybody. Welcome to Zeal's Addy. I am Scott. My pronouns are he, him. Hello, everybody. This is... Welcome to Zeal's Addy. I am Scott. My pronouns oh. are he, him. Hello, everybody. Oh, this that's is a problem. Zeal's Addy. I am Scott. My pronouns oh. are he, him. Hello, everybody. Oh, this is that's a problem. <laughs> Hold on. I got to pick something. Oh, oh that's a problem. <laughs> Hold on. I got to pick something. Are you all hearing the echo? Oh, that's a the problem. repeat? Hold on. I got to pick something. Oh, you're I'm not. Are you all hearing the echo? Oh, that's a the problem. repeat? Hold on. I got to Oh, I'm not. Are you all hearing the echo? The repeat? Oh, I'm not. Are you all hearing the echo? The repeat? Hold on. Oh, I'm not. Are you all hearing the echo? The repeat? Hold on. It's repeating on Twitch, too. Hold on. Hold on. It's repeating on Twitch, too. Hold on. Hold on. It's repeating on Twitch, too. Hold on. Hold on. It's repeating on Twitch, too. Hold on. Repeating on Twitch, too. <laughs> hmm. I knew it wouldn't go over that easily. Hmm. I knew it wouldn't go over that easily. Hmm. I knew it wouldn't go over that easily. Hmm. I knew it wouldn't go over that easily. Can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Okay. Can you hear me? Yep. It still has an oh, echo. I can't hear you. Yep. Yes. Can okay. you hear me? Can someone yep. it still can has an echo. speak? I, I just want to hear yep. if I can hear you talking. Yes. Okay. Sure. Testing. How are you? Testing. Testing. One, two, three. I just want to hear if I can hear you talking. Yes. Sure. Testing. How are you? Testing. One, two, three. It's good to hear you talking. But I don't know if I can hure. hear the players talking. How are you? Testing. One, two, three. It's good to hear you talking. But I don't know if I can hear the players talking. How are you? But I don't know if I can hear the players talking. I I think that it's only me that's hearing the. uh, the, uh, We can hear. Are you hearing it? It's only me that's hearing to the the repeating of the of the voice. So are you hearing it? It's only me that's hearing to the the repeating of the of the voice. So are you hearing it? It's only me that's hearing to the the repeating of the voice. I always hate when I get started on something and end up with audio because it's get started on inevitably again. audio problems up with audio everything else it's always audio. Audio. inevitably yeah audio everything else just always audio inevitably well yeah audio everything else just always audio inevitably well yeah sorry everybody everything else just always audio inevitably well yeah sorry everybody everything else just always audio inevitably well yeah sorry everybody Sorry, everybody. Sorry, everybody. Okay, can can you hear me? Yes, can you hear us still? Okay, can But I can't hear you now. Can you hear me? Yes, can you hear us still? Okay, can But I can't hear you now. Can you hear me? Yes. Is there still echo coming through? No echo. But I can't hear you. But I can't hear you. Yes. Is there still echo coming through? No echo. Unfortunate. I can't hear you. Yes. Is there still echo coming through? No echo. Oh, I can't hear you. Yes. Is there still echo coming through? No echo. Oh, I can't hear you. Is there still echo coming? Hold on. Let me change. Hold on. Let me change. Hold on. Let me change.
Oh, I heard that. Can you hear can you hear us over on the on the stream? I am hearing myself echo still. I don't know if it's coming through. Or it's delay. Okay, and you're Yeah, it's really a delay. It's like the Twitch delay it seems like. Well, you should be able to hear each other now. Can you not hear each other? Oh. Oh, yeah, you're not, because you're not showing on stream. That's right. I see it. Oh, yeah, you're not, because you're not showing on stream. That's right. Now you're on stream. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're not, not showing on stream. Now you're on stream. Well, I'm going to hear, I don't know if the rest of you can hear it. Can you hear the, uh, the, well, I'm going to hear the, I don't know if the rest of you can hear it. Can you hear the, uh, I don't hear the repeating on the stream. I hear no echo anymore. I don't know if the rest of you can hear it. Can you hear the, uh, I don't hear the repeating on the stream. I hear, I'm hearing it now. And now we come on. There's an echo on stream now too. I don't hear the repeating on the stream. I hear it. I'm hearing it now. And we come on. There's an echo on stream now too. I don't. I let me see if I can route all of you through the Yeti input and output. Maybe, I mean, I can hear you. I just don't know if, like, I can't, I don't think, if, I don't think they can hear us on the stream right now. Oh. I mean, when I'm putting the stream on, I can hear us. But I mean, when hearing, I'm putting the stream on, I can echo. hear us. No, I'm not hearing an echo. But are you hearing an echo? Can you hear me? But yeah, when I put the stream on, I can hear. Can you still hear me? No, yeah. I'm not hearing an echo. Are you hearing an echo? Can you hear me? But yeah, when I put the stream on, I can hear. Can you still hear me? No, yeah. I'm not hearing an echo. Are you hearing an echo? Can you hear can me? You, are you saying? Are you saying anything? Can you can still somebody hear me? say something? No, yeah. I'm not hearing an echo. Testing. I'm not hearing you. Are you saying? Are you saying anything? Can you still somebody say something? No, I'm not hearing an echo. Testing. I'm not hearing you. Are you saying? Are you saying anything? Can you still somebody say something? No. Yeah. Mm, I do hear an echo still. I'm not hearing. Are you saying? Are you saying? The other thing, because uh, you're using a mm, I do hear an echo still. Yeah. Um, in the your thing, advanced audio uh, settings, uh, uh, just double check that your microphone isn't repeating. Um, in the your advanced audio settings, uh, just double check that your microphone isn't repeating. Um, in the your advanced audio settings, just double check that your microphone. Um, in the your advanced audio settings, uh, or do you have your stream on another? Um, in your advanced audio settings, uh, or do you have your stream on another? Oh, I um, do. Hold on. It could be linking up oh, as desktop you know audio. I okay. It should be fixed now. Can you? Thanks, metal cheese. Hey. <laughs> yep. It was the stream itself. Because I'm feeding it all of the audio through to it. So it sounds like everything's okay. I can hear you. You can hear me. Can you hear anything on this? Can you hear? Are you hearing the echoing thing going on on the stream in chat? Sorry about the delay, everybody. Sounds good. <clears throat> awesome. Okay. There we go. Let yeah. me get back to where I was. Um, Yay. I'm Scott. Uh, my pronouns are he, him. And this is Elixia. It is a D&D &D 5e campaign. 
This is a newly minted level eight party. They just uh, leveled up last week after um, an awesome combat with their their latest favorite nemesis, and uh, it was deserved. Deserved. And uh, this we're uh, this one is titled um, "Plans Within Plans," and this is season two, episode thirty-five. Uh, there a lot went on the last few weeks, but last week really was not a whole lot of stuff. So I'm going to bring everybody on and let them kind of go over the over what happened. So, all right, I can see everybody. Awesome. So let's start with uh, Caridwen. Why don't you get us get us started? I'm Tiffany. I'm Kara Twin Sage Wind. She goes by Twin. I'm the bard of the party. She, um, after the latest escapades with Kara Dwin has been mostly focused on her relationship with with Thesrin, which has been a long time coming. Um, and very and, messy. And very messy, and it is still very messy. <laughs> so she's sorting that out and trying to figure out how that works with her and her son and how that would work also with trying to save the world. So, you know, because dating and party is pretty complicated. Uh, as for what I do personally, I run my own campaign called Dungeon Damsels. We focus on a lot of emotions and relationships. We have a 90% uh, female cast, and we are on hiatus right now because I have to focus on real work. Uh, well, my in real life work. And, uh, but we are going to do a Father's Day show and uh, Morgan's going to be it and Scott's going to be in it. So stay tuned for, for that. It should be a lot of dad jokes and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to prep up all the best of the worst dad jokes <laughs> yes, that I can think make of. A list. Well, whoever Whoever's the bard needs to do that. You know, like so. Whenever they cast, like you know, right. vicious mockery or whatever, it has to be dad jokes. Then <laughs> and they have to be things you pull from like old movies. <laughs> yeah, like a Kenku. You know, you have to yeah. you can only repeat things you've heard in other places. Yeah, that'd be awesome. All right, let's go to Jazz. What's up? I'm Jazz. My pronouns are they, them, and she, her. Although today I'm feeling particularly they, them. You can find me on Twitter at Cinderscoria, C-I-N-D-E-R-S-C-O-R-I-A, where I live tweet this uh, campaign and other campaigns as well. They're, um, They're hilarious, by the way. <laughs> they're very reactionary, so I would watch the stream as I'm tweeting. Otherwise, they're not going to make any sense. Um, you, can, you can find me uh, next month on the Girls Run These Worlds channel, where I'm going to be playing Monster of the Week or the month of June. Very excited about that. And aside from that, I play Jada, our Warforged Sorcerer slash Fighter. Um, they just uh, lost their creator in a very heart-wrenching way and have a fully completed soul and completely obliterated Chandran, and it was very satisfying. Yeah. Yeah, very necessary um, murderous rampage you needed. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Let's go to Hitler. Cathartic, even. Yeah. Let's go to uh, Blake. You called me Hipley, but it was a cool name, so tip. Um, so yes, I am playing Hipley Amberwater, uh, the former personal librarian slash maybe like professor now. I don't know. He's like in between between jobs or career choices or life choices. So we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Blake C. Francis. And otherwise, I do some other streams sometimes with other cool people as well. I mean, who knows if they're as cool as this group, you know? Maybe we'll do a poll, see who's cooler. Just kidding. But yeah, so excited to play tonight. Um, yeah, ready to get into it. All right, let's go to Natalie. Hello, everyone. My name is Natalie. Uh, you can find me on most places on, internet, on the internet with Ghost Candle, especially Twitter, where I post about my tabletop stuff, my art. All that kind of things. I do weekly email packs. Last week, I released a changeling pack on my Ko-Fi. That's ko-fi.com slash ghost candle. 
And then because we're the last day of May, I can say what June's theme will be, which is going to be the Gem Dragons. So check that out every Friday. Nice. Um, here I'm playing the wonderful, adorable, sometimes plays fake girlfriend, Desis, uh, who is the druid of the party and is now becoming very lost in who she is as a person because she doesn't know her mom. Another tiefling asked her where her lineage is from. She's conflicted and is now also a keeper of the mask. So we'll see how that goes. And the mask really wants to talk to you and you uh, keep refusing. I have no good words for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go to Morgan. Hello, travelers. Um, I'm Morgan. That's not I, how so... you say it. Yes, it is. Sometimes it is. <laughs> Weep. <laughs> What's up, travelers? Uh, I play Vezrin Magic. Uh, he is a the party's. He's a wood elf who is of noble lineage. He is also the, a blade singer, and he is dealing with a lot of internal emotions. Dealing with the mask. Dealing with Dwin. Uh, just dealing with a lot of things. He's also looking for his mother, who ascended many years ago, and he believes is in the Shadowfell. Uh, outside of the game, you can find me at Mindflayed Mondays on all social media except for Twitter, which is at Mindflayed Mun. I have a website where myself and a team of uh, professional dungeon masters run games for clients. You can also find t shirts that we make on Amazon and products on the DMs Guild. And I have a podcast that releases episodes uh, pretty much Mondays every week. So check it out. Other than that, I'm just here to have fun with this wonderful group of people. All right, so I'm gonna let you get started on the on the uh, recap. Who me or all yeah, of us? you? You, you get me. Start, you get it started. Oh Everyone will pile in after. Let's see uh, how your notes here. were. We picked up where Dwin and Desis had stepped through a portal, and the rest of us were downstairs. Um, and while we were downstairs, Hippley was in his room, and his door moved which threw him off. And as he went to go investigate, a cabin girl came and was like, did you need something? Which he responded. He decided to, after talking to her to go find myself and Jada. And we eventually realized that um, there was somebody on the ship invisible who was hunting Jada. So Jada, you want to take over from there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was... Everybody can pile in whenever they want taking care of uh, their creator's body uh, in the way that they hoped that she would want it taken care of when their door opened as well. Um, luckily, they know that uh, fiends can be invisible and therefore ca cast the invisibility. Found Chandran, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and made enough of a racket that Hipley and Vezrin came running and they were able to more or less thrash Jandron to the point where they wanted to make a little escape. Um, thought it was kind of weird that our friends didn't come though. So we went to go find mm -hmm. them. Well, we did, we did, what did help was Hipley tripped Chandran as he came out of the room. To <laughs> the best you, spell, the trip spell. Just getting my revealing, <laughs> revealing that amulet that he used Mage Hand to steal off of him, which allowed me to banish him. Yes. Yeah, but I still got. I think I still got it. Not too. happy. <laughs> you were not happy. You were like, um, oh yeah, because because it was like because we didn't know what the um what it did. did, and so that's what's like destroy it. And just like if we do, I'll never be friends with you again. I was like, I was like, okay, well, <laughs> it's a tough decision. Deep cut. So like, <laughs> but luckily, yeah. luckily, something else happened. So we we had to hit did not make that choice because something else happened. So. Yeah. yeah, so while that was going on, uh, Desus and Dwin were having, I guess, a private party of sorts in a, another plane in a quote-unquote house of pleasures. I described it as a rave, but it was more of like a hookah lounge. Uh, yeah, demonic, fiendish hookah lounge. There was a blood feast. Desus was very awkward. And stiff and playing that she's religious and fasting. Dwen was ready to try things. And then, yeah, I grabbed her hand. And then we were asked if we were dating or a pair. And Dwen's like, yep, 
<laughs> yep, I just rolled with it. I was just like, yep, that's why we're holding hands. Yes, and. Yep. Yes, and. Not that. Um, so we awkwardly uh, conversed with the people at the table and um, we're like, oh, yeah, we're definitely friends with Chandran. This is totally his house. Oh, great. We, we love it here. <laughs> the Lamia loved giving you massages and trying to warm you to the cra- to the group. And you? Yeah, the Lamia were our, our masseuses and they thought we were hot, which I guess was cool. And yeah. <laughs> Then um, we saw the, uh, what are they called? The star, starlings? Uh, voidlings. Voidlings. The voidlings. We saw the voidlings, which are homebrew race made by our own Natalie. Shout out Natalie, so yep. sick. And they had been captured by Chandran as sort of these like songbird show off what I can do sort of things. And so um, Duane said, asked for the bathroom. <laughs> I'm like, where's the bathroom? <laughs> And um, so the two of us went away to go to the privy, and <laughs> there, uh, Carriageman says to Deces, I'm going to free these voidlings, and then we're going to go for the door. <laughs> Which we were contacted by Vez through sending, who yep. asked us what was up, and very trying to mask it all like, yeah, door. Oh, there's the mass as we were getting massage and Desus oh, yeah. being a sailor is using boat terminology to that extent and then contacting Dwen as well yes um <laughs> same thing using words in the conversation that could be a response to Vezrin um anyway he figured out that we went through the door that was the magic door in the mast which was Chandran's door and so I Basically, uh, Jesus threw up a, a wind wall. I freed the voidlings. One of them ran across the room and opened the door so then the rest of the party could come inside. And um, then we threw down with Chandran and a couple of his buddies. And they didn't mu- do much. <laughs> yeah. Wind wall for the win. Yeah. Yeah. That was clutch. <laughs> wind wall. Yeah. They, hey, yeah. <laughs> One of the copper, the capper tries to confront us and he can't get past the wind wall because he's tiny. Yep, he's mm-hmm. small. Yeah, he's like, he's I'm so seeing my hat. He, what do you, he <laughs> threatened like my hat's gonna get red again or something like that? Like he, yeah, he's gonna dye his hat red with your blood. Mm-hmm. That happens. <laughs> so sad. He, he couldn't get through the wind wall because he was a small creature. And while um, you guys are doing that, the voidling flew over to the door, opened it, <clears> and we all busted in, guns a blazing. Yep. Yes. Then, yeah, uh, and immediately a fireball went went in finger <laughs> into the room. <laughs> yeah, fireball. Uh, finger guns and blazing. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, uh, do you want to describe Chandran's demise? Oh well, yeah, I wrecked him. I wrecked the crap out of him. Well, we all did. You said like a super cool line too. It was like first you killed my sisters and then my creators. <laughs> I was the first. I was the first of my kind. I am the last of my kind. You should have killed me first. <laughs> I was just like, ah! it was so good. <laughs> Holy tree. A baller of a line. I was, it was not awesome. practicing I that the entire it, week. So. <laughs> <laughs> you had the script written down. It's good. <clears throat> and when you left and the door closed, it disappeared and yep. left the room in its voided state as the creator had died. So everyone and in it. Also, and the, oh, demise. They died. Oh, they did. Yeah. We offered them a way out. We did. We were like, "Hey, if you want out, you, the door's right there." They did not go. Yeah. So we vacated and then hung out with the voidlings. For yeah, for a moment. So yeah, they, they vacated. Also... Yeah. They, they gotta go back to the sky. Sent. And then the, and then the captain brought out like a big party, and then we partied for the rest of the night. I yes. hope you guys learned some interesting things from the boilings about like the um. Oh my god, that plane, brain fart. The astral plane. Yeah, we found yeah. out that we could get to the Shadowfell through the astral yes. plane, but we'd have to have like an astral ship, and we were like, what is that? <laughs> it's almost like a spaceship. Like a spaceship. A starship. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there you are enjoying the, uh, the rum and food on the ship as it 
sails east to Jaredin. And you have time. Like, it's going to be weeks before you get there. Oof. Oh, okay. So we can either, if there's something you want to do. If there's something you want to do. If, if there's something you want to do, you'll have plenty of time to do it. And we'll just like skip ahead and get to Jared. And, or if there's, if you want to spend time with the sailors think, and the. I think Vesna would try to catch Hipley at some point. Uh, in like private conversation. Okay. You find Different. Hipley somewhere. Probably in my quarters. Alone. I was in the writing. <laughs> Knocking on the door. Gonna pretend to be asleep. Gonna be really quiet. So gonna act like he's asleep. Like, <laughs> Hipley, I quiet. know you're not to. I know you're not to sleep at this time. You never are. You're usually reading or writing. Uh, here's an audible sigh. Opens the door. Like, yeah. <laughs> What's up? Yes. How can I? Uh, how can I help you today? I don't know what time it is. Well, evening or whatever time it is right now. Well, it's occurred to me that you and I haven't. Had a lot of one on one conversations. And if I'm being honest, sometimes I'm not quite sure if you are simply joking with me or that you just have a deep dislike. I mean, me. If I didn't like it, I don't think I'd give you a hug. So, I mean, I mean, like, that was a pretty real hug. So, if That's I didn't, fair. there was. I mean, I could have stabbed you in the back with a dagger there, I guess, if I had one, be like, you know, hug, stab. <laughs> You could have waited for me to be under the house too, but you didn't. So, I, I do appreciate that. I mean, you know, sometimes uh, I joke with it, but no, it's not. I don't know. I think it's more teasing. Nothing. I don't have any deep desire unless I get like sp that spell cast on me again. Um. Yeah. So no. So no. <laughs> How? Well, uh, I just wanted you to know, regardless of that, um, I am really glad that you're with us. I honestly can't imagine what this journey would be like uh, without you, or what it must be like for you after everything you've been through. I mean, no more than what everyone else has been through me, because you've lost a ton more than I have. I mean, but hopefully we'll be able to find your mother, especially if we can get to that plane, which would be seems definitely a lot more doable. At least we have a lot more knowledge about it, too. So. But, Yes. Well, I mean, hopefully, and I do appreciate you being here with me on that and standing by my side. I just, I just was thinking how, how difficult this might have been for you. And honestly, I think you might be the bravest out of all of us. Mm. Mm. I know you don't feel that way. I know you don't. But look at it like this. One day, you're simply managing one of the most extensive personal libraries in all the continents living a quite peaceful life with a wonderful mentor. Are you trying to make and, me more sad now? Like, are you trying to, like, no, you know, listen, you're trying to bring me down? I'm not. Listen, well, I guess the next know. thing you know, you're chasing demons who stole a precious book, fighting hags, traveling to lost continents, losing two years of our lives to a magical concert. And now you have to figure out a riddle for a Sphinx patron. We found out that you can summon your home with a staff and just finished fighting off a fiend from hell <laughs> who was living in a strange demiplane also in hell. I mean, it <laughs> sounds insane, but I mean, Dwin, she's always been an uh, adventurous soul of sorts, driving, diving headlong right into things. And Desus has lived a life of sailor. Jada, they, they've lived probably longer than all of us and seen more things than either of us can even imagine. And I was always raised to do what I'm doing. You, you chose to be here. And I respect that. I definitely, I definitely do appreciate that. Um, that's exactly why I think, you know, nonfiction is so much um, better than fiction. Because like you said, like you said yourself, like, you know, who could write that kind of stuff? So <laughs> I don't know who could. But if you wrote this, they would think it's fiction. Exactly, exactly. But well, that's a good point. <laughs> makes you wonder how many things that we consider fiction might actually be real or based on real events mm -hmm. that's a good point and plus someone's reality might be different than how someone else like how they perceive it and write it down maybe 
different than how it actually happened because we all see things differently. So I guess every piece of fiction may be a little bit not well, every piece of nonfiction is a little bit of fiction because it's, you know, it's impossible to kind of, I guess, be outside yourself and to really be, you know, objective because you're going to have some sort of bias just by living. But very true. Know. Very true. I just, I just wanted you to know that because I felt the other day when we were talking, I felt like you felt like you didn't do much in the first fight against Oh, you. I didn't. No, I didn't. I, I tried to kill but, you and then I fell off a boat and almost drowned in a cage. <laughs> well, to be fair, I, I fell off the boat too and was just lucky to get out of it. But I, well, I do want you to realize that we would not have won this fight against Chandran without your, your actions. This, mm. Seriously. I mean, you were instrumental in that yesterday. I mean, you tripped him, revealing his amulet. You stole it so I could banish him. That in combination, I believe, is what weakened him in his home, allowing us to go there and for Jada to use their abilities to destroy him. I mean, all that came down to you just making that quick thought of tripping him and stealing that amulet. If if you didn't do that, I don't think it would have turned out the way it did. So you were instrumental. And you have just as much value, whether one fight didn't go as we planned or not, as everybody else. I just want you to know that that's how I see you. And I know that's how everyone else sees you too. I definitely appreciate that. But I still feel like even if I didn't, I mean, the way you guys, the way you're so adept with like what you can do with the sword and then popping that cool like mystical shield every time. When, <laughs> I mean, and then... You've seen these, just like you've seen these, just go into yes. that star reform, or just like, oh, man. And then we're gonna say anything about Dwin because her abilities. I mean, not, and we're not we're just talking about her abilities, not the ability to the language and linguistics that, and the books that she's written to herself. So, I feel like I mean, I definitely, I mean, okay, I, I get, it. I, I tripped him and got something, so you know. And hopefully, with the whole <laughs> thing, thing maybe it'd be something else. But either way, I'm, I'm happy to be here though because I get to witness your guys' stories. So it's your, like the it's best your story kind of book. too. It is your story as well. Your your patron is what gave us the parts so we can complete Jada. True. Then, you know? Well, he wasn't encrypted. They like, did he tell us? Yeah, he did. But they did. They, I was so cryptic about it. Like, I you can sum it up whole library and use it as a weapon uh, surprisingly i didn't even know that it was, was possible in time okay no and, actually and I'm, gonna... not, I'm actually not making i'm not making a joke like i normally do i'm saying no. not only can you summon a house but in a pinch if need be you could even find a way to use it as a weapon i sure, was that wasn't your intention. Chandran, but then i remember there's other people on the boat i was like <laughs> if i dropped it that might have killed some other people so I, we'll I will it. admit, I'm glad you thought that through and did not do it, but... <laughs> just suck a boat, like, you know. <laughs> this is as much your story as it is ours, and you are just as big a part of it. Don't ever doubt that. Well, thank you. I definitely, I definitely do appreciate that. Um, yeah, but hopefully, like I said, hopefully I'll be able to get stronger too to pull it just a little bit more, you know, just to make sure that um, we really can help all you guys, because you guys have been saving me a lot we all save each other months, so. we all take turns I mean I was saved the other day as well right so we all take our turns so I just I just want you to know how much I appreciate you and if you tell the others this I will deny it and I will probably set you on fire I'm kidding <laughs> about denying it I would gladly admit it but I probably might still set you on fire <laughs> and then he gives you a wink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, as long as you don't play the loot, that'll be fine. We're really be on fire after that again. So, Ooh, such a that's that hurts. You know that, right? I, I spent a lot of time so trying to learn that. Playing. <laughs> so, so Karen, what are you doing <laughs> doing over these two weeks with um? Oh uh, well, with Vesteren around. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she'll keep herself busy. Uh, first of all, she'll um, the night of the party. She'll send a message to Talison with the orb. Uh, the message is, "Hello, son. Sorry I left on short notice. We're going to Jerry and then to Katis. Stay with Grandma. She can teach you much. I love you." And 
Um, he can, well, hopefully, I'm like, does he respond? If he's asleep, then he's not going to get it. He and totally like, responds. Okay. <clears throat> he He's like, Grandma is a troublemaker in the best way. She lets me do bad things, but make sure that I don't, like, go too far. I love you and miss you, too. I, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be back together again soon enough. You've got things to do. I need to, un, I need some, to unlearn some things that I've done. And Grandma's making sure that that happens. That's good to hear. And I've only stolen one or two things while you've been gone. Only kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just... Insight checks is good. <laughs> <laughs> so after she's done checking up on Towson, then she's gonna go to Jada. Because we, Jada, we wanted to. Do you want to work on the song for Lucy? It's a good time now. Um. Yeah. I am realizing that we're not getting back to wide, so. Seed burials are a thing, right? I should talk to. Yeah, they're definitely, definitely a thing. Yeah, you can do something. Um, do you know what you want the song to be about? Her legacy, what she meant to you. It's complicated. Yeah. I. She, she did not do good things. I mean, neither did I, but. Oh, well. Um... We're writing the song together so we can say what we want to say and we can leave out what we don't want to say. You know, she's the closest thing to family I've ever had. Yeah. And I think that she considered us her family too. So maybe, maybe something about that. Okay. I. I have a, a few lines that I could, that I've been working on, and the beat's a bit different than what I usually go with, because I'm a character. Tiffany has been learning Chandelier by Sia, so this is... <laughs> Ooh. Uh, so the lyrics are to, to that. Uh, let's see. <laughs> the sun sets on death's horizon. Nimble hands, take a rest, and the mother's eyes dim to breathe new life. And that's kind of like the first intro part. I didn't know what to do with her one, two, three, one, two, three, drink part, but we're <laughs> going to go to her, her, um, um, I'm going to swing part, which is how do you love to feel when your heart just won't go? Just woke up. Why do you look when it can't make sense? It just doesn't make sense. That's kind of all I have so far, but damn, oh, oh, you I can did hit that figure note. Out something to do. Uh, I figured out later. <coughs> okay, I need to move this this up to um and then for one two three one two three click one two three one two three click like she's working on the machine so um that's all i have so I'm far i'm so emotional <laughs> <laughs> oh god i'm gonna cry uh i think jada will just like take your hands and stole them just for a second and just like look in your eyes and say that is Beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. But I, I got something you like. So I'll keep working on that for you. I appreciate it. Just and there's a it. warmth that you're not used to feeling inside. It's so weird. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> you're like Gross. every 10 year old kid. Ugh. Kiss me. Ugh, yes. <laughs> Who gave me these? <laughs> Taking the part out like I'm done. No, no, I'm so <laughs> You're useless. So I'll, I'll work with Jada and we'll kind of work out the finer points of what that's doing. And after they feel like they've made a, a good enough progress, she'll you know go to sleep. And um, for the rest of her time on the ship. Mm -hmm. she'll um she'll actually work with jesus 
because she wants to learn Infernal, so she'll approach her. Oh. So, Desus, do you think we could work on Infernal <coughs> together? That's something I'm not familiar with. Sure, definitely. Oh, great. Um, I mean, based on the languages I already know, you should be able to get that, like, kind of more guttural kind of... You know, I don't Oops. know any of the root languages, so this is exciting. It's going to be a whole new... <sighs> so she has, like, a, a, like a notebook ready. <laughs> And we'll we can definitely get down to this. <laughs> and Scott, it's up to you how long it takes her to learn. For yeah. So one night, though, you're on the ship and you hear singing from somewhere else on the ship. You're not sure. It's it's it sounds like a female voice, probably. Or a or a like a high pitched male voice. And it kind of comes and goes in brief stints. Like you'll hear it a little bit and it'll be gone just for a few minutes. And Desus, when it happens one of the time, like you hear, who is that? And you know that voice is not from, from Caridwen. Do I hear it too? No. Oh, okay. But you're in the room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you see, like, Jesus' eyes fair, like, brows fair a little bit. And it's like, yeah. who's speaking? Hey, what's, uh, what are you and Karen working on? I, I like the sound of it. Is it what I think it is? It is. I really <sighs> like the sound of this. I think it's great that you're teaching <laughs> Karen on this. The second I realize it, when does see instantly like the usual boyish kind of gentle face of Desus goes very hard and very focused <laughs> and like, just a sudden because oh. she keeps her satchel with her just a sudden guiding bolt on the satchel okay. so it stops <laughs> so it shuts up talking now What's you know that you're supposed to only hold it for two weeks, right? So at the end of the journey, you're supposed to hand it off to somebody. Who are you supposed to hand it off to? Like, did who's we next really, in line? Did we say that? It, it was did. two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. I just, so, uh, just want to know who's next. We didn't decide say, who was next. Oh. Yeah, we never decided. Okay. I think it was. I think Jada said they were going to be next. I can be next. I think that would be the only person in the current group that... Jesus would be comfortable passing it off. Wow. Um, <laughs> Hitler, you've been having conversations with the mask already. Okay. <laughs> with conversations and recent mind controls going on. Oh, oh, okay. 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 Yeah, it makes that loot not feel so bad now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you like one night you hear the voice again when you're with Caridwen. And it's a little louder than it had been before. And you hear from, from upstairs, we got company. And then, like, you hear scrambling and stuff, but that's about it. But they're still singing. Oh. And, it, and you'll hear it sing, and it'll stop. And then you'll hear it sing, and then it'll stop. Do we both hear it? Sorry. You both hear it, yeah. Yeah, it's not what? the mask singing. Should we go see what that is? She's just like... Yeah. No, oh, let's go see what that is. Just like shuffle out of my chair. <laughs> <clears throat> Look in the hallway. Right. Well, let's go find... Where are the others? And you hear it for maybe... Five or six seconds, and then it stops. And then a minute or a half a minute later, you hear it again for five or six seconds. But it sounds like it's not coming from inside the cabin area you're in. I mean, it could be the other cabin area or deeper in the ship or something, but you're not really sure. Um, I'm going to get the others, and then she'll like, turn to go towards... Ezra's room, or whoever whoever has the closest room. 
don't. Who has the who has the closest room? I want to be Bezrin. Mm. <laughs> I, I want to be Bezrin too. Yeah, Bezrin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next closest room. <laughs> there's like she she goes to knock and she like there's this little bit of a buzz and she's like I'm an adult and then she knocks on the door. <laughs> Do you say that out loud? Where it's where like under her breath. I'm an adult. I'm an adult. <laughs> um, yes. First friend, we're hearing something strange. Um, Do you want to investigate with us? And it's night, by the way. It's not. Dead. You hear him like he's shuffling around, like moving things and cleaning himself off, fixes his robes. Um, opens the, um yes, uh, sure. Um, looks out. Do I see Desus with you? I'm assuming. And yeah. just a little back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where's the others? I haven't collected them yet. Yeah, you're um, the first door. M- makes sense. Uh, <laughs> he, he like awkwardly grabs his stuff and follows you out. Yeah, there's like that kind of like, are we okay tension? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, lead the way. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Okay. Uh, and we, and we do this like awkward shuffle in the hallway <laughs> together. Like, you go first. No, okay, I'll go first. So <laughs> I go first. first. Ladies first. Uh, and I find Hippley and Jada. Um, this is the first time you've seen Vestrin and Caridwen actually together in like the first week of the journey. Not not by Vezrin's doing. Vezrin has like no issues. <laughs> Vezrin's been busy with Hipley and, and <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying like he's not he's not avoiding her. He's just he's giving her space and waiting for her to decide when they <laughs> not talk. Not avoiding but giving her space. Like, like, if he sees her if he see listen, if he sees her, he's like Hello, <laughs> you know, he'll have conversations. <laughs> but if she's not around, he's not like, I'm leaving her alone, like I said I was going to do. To let, to let the be to best friend. So, is, um, so, this will be Right in front of everybody. It has no telepathy, just looks directly between the two of them. Like, yeah, can I, am I able to respond and, back to you telepathically? I can't remember. Uh, yes. Yeah. And when you go to, you hear the singing for the, this is the first time you've noticed it, but it's kind of, it's pretty, it's, and then it's gone. It's there for a few seconds and then gone. Are we able to try and hear if it's like above, below, same level? It's hard to tell from inside the cabin. I'm going to take a moment to cast detect magic. See if there's anything magical that might be the root to this. No, and then I'll just have it on as we're walking around. But your party is full of magic, so yeah. I mean, I, I I'm not focusing on the things that are yeah. popping off of us. No, you don't see anything else. <laughs> see? Yeah, is the necklace I still have? Is that magic? The oh, one yeah. that I got from. It's magic. Okay. Well, it's useful. You're not a. You cannot be banished to Acheron with that right now. Mm-hmm. And be sent to hell. Yay! <laughs> to that hell. <laughs> that hell. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess I'll go go on deck and look. When you go out on the deck, you hear the the singing much more clearly, and you're also hearing a splash as it disappears. I I kind of I'll turn around and motion for the crew rest of them to come up. It's over here. I wonder could it be come back? Um, I'm gonna run over and take a look because Hippley has an idea what it might be. So I want to try to like see if I can. See, I'm going to just run ahead to like the side and see if I can see what it is. And you hear the voice again as you see this person sort of leap like a dolphin like in the waves. Oh gosh. And as they're, they come up and they're in the air, you hear the singing. When they splash back down, you don't hear them because their voice is underwater. And, it's, and there are two or three of these people that... They're kind of bluish skinned, um, dressed so, in clothes you you wouldn't you don't recognize, but obviously part of the sea. Not is it a like similar so the humanoid that's to Desis? Mm-hmm, that's what I was gonna say. That's what I was thinking. Um, are they speaking uh, in common? Are they speaking a tongue that I would? They're, I would they're singing in common. And they're singing 
uh, words that sound like songs of the of the beauty of the sea and uh, the warmth of uh, sunlight on the waves, things like that. If I want to try to get within sixty feet and tell and tell the people that I'm like saying, "Oh, um, uh, hello, uh, do you mind stopping for a minute just to um, say hello?" Well, the ship is moving, and you True. can see that there are sailors up on the side that are looking down and out there. They're like, oh, no, 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 we don't want to stop for that. They're they're like a bad omen. Oh, they can, oh, I was speaking to telepathy they, to, the, to them in the water. If they're 60 feet, if I could. They seduce people and, and drag them to their death into the sea. But, We're trying to get away from them, but they but we can't out, we can't sail fast enough. I mean, do you feel seduced right now? Because I don't feel like jumping into any water. That's cold and scary. So do you oh, feel... Do we want to jump into water? I can help with that. <laughs> <laughs> you can? Yeah. I got an upgrade, I guess you could say. Anyway, you know, do we want to talk to them or not? I do. You know what? Do whatever. I'll do it. I'll jump in the water. <laughs> do it, Jada. People- while this is happening, Deesa's just quietly coming up, almost on the other side of Hipley and looking into the water to look at them. I'll put, it just leaps into the water. Yeah, I'll put one hand <laughs> one hand on Hipley's back and one hand on Deesa's, even though I don't think Deesa's will need it, and I'll cast water breathing. I look at Vesper and kind of nod and then jump in. Like, look at Deesa's too, like, are we going to... They look kind of like they, that. They, you can see him on screen. Oh, on darn it. Second. I need to open up Shard. Oh, cool. Budge. Hold on a second. So it's seeing on, them. It's on Twitter, too. Or on Twitch. Because I had a memory. Do they look similar to her? They do. Then probably the second that I saw it, before even Jada was able to give me water breathing, I would have leapt in. Oh. I jump after her. <laughs> okay. Awkwardly, like, belly flop, because I don't know how to dive. I'll include all of us in it. I can include up to ten. Oh. Cool. Creatures, I will take it. We're all going in, (laughs) and you hear the groan of the ship as it as they start to pull sails and try and come to a halt as fast as they can. When they see a bunch of people jump into the into the (laughs) night, Vesner will stop. stop. Just just give us a moment. We have water breathing, we're we have reason to believe they might have information that we need. Um, but don't leave without us. Just a bunch of please don't leave without I mean, us. <laughs> this looks so terrible. You just said, "Oh my god, it's gonna like they're gonna be they're gonna I, draw us into water. We all jump in." And like, then I give is... like a like a proper salute or like you know bow, and then I jump off after the rest of the party. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm afraid to jump in there. I feel like I'm gonna sink like a rock. <laughs> yeah, I, I think swimming is not a, a not strong a, suit not a workforce thing. No, I think I'll stay on the deck. I'll stay on the deck. Actually, Have fun. There goes yeah, Jada. <laughs> That's not a bad idea because the least thing you can make sure they don't leave. <laughs> um, I guess, I guess I'm going down. And then she, um, she just ties her rope, her magic rope, on the edge of the ship, um, the back edge, and then. Okay. She'll jump off too. How cold is it? Like I just feel like it's super, super cold. Like, uh, um, it's cold. Gosh. It's not like Arctic cold. Okay. Send me a message if you need Been help. Been there, done that. <laughs> Been there, done that. Arctic cold, no thank you. Yeah. So, so Desus jumps off first. Hipley. Second. I have swimming speed. <laughs> yep. And and who's casting the water breathing? I did. So you not jumping in are ca- yeah. letting them all breathe. I don't water. need it. I don't, right. I don't breathe. It's funny. I think it's funny that you have it. <laughs> that you can cast it. But you... I think. I think Whoa. the re- this. Let me. Let me explain my reasoning. Jada's traumatized from the force cage. There. That's okay. it. Yeah. The You're force cage was traumatic. Yeah, well, I, I it was a near death You go over. Definitely thought you had died. Okay. Definitely thought yeah. you were over and done with and drowning and there was nothing I, I could have done about it. So I, Jada. Jada. Studied Aww. some schematics, okay, okay. and learned Aww. water breathing. You're welcome. Jada loves us. Shut up. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> now we can sur- now we can survive in a cage as we sink to the bottom for a little bit. <laughs> All right. So, Desus, you you hit the water first, and when you go under the water, when you dive off, you end up going under the water. You hear the singing under the water too, 
you just couldn't hear it when you were above the water because it wasn't um, transferring, you know, across the, you know, water to air. And the their voices remain very clear under the water to you. And as soon as you hit, you feel this movement on your neck that you've felt before. Can I get a a wisdom check from you? Are looking dice. Uh, Sixteen total. Okay. So you bravely <gasps> suck in water and get your your gills going, and the moment that that happens, those three people up ahead of you stop and turn. And at that moment, you you also hear Hipley hitting the water, Vestrin hitting the water behind you, and Caridwen. <clears throat> but they stop and they kind of look at you. They don't really move to you. They just look. You know, they feel the water. They hear the water splashes. <laughs> and then they slowly start to move towards you. Well, just... Also, slowly in turn, approach them. You are air breathers. You you will drown in here. You are not an air breather, though. No. Half of me isn't, at least. What um. What, what clan are you from? That I do not know. What is your mother's name? I do not know. Oh. And they sort of, they see the rest of you in there, but they sort of swim around Desus. And one of them goes to touch your head but then stops before doing so. Are those painful? Painful. Up, uh, up there. Oh, my horns. No. Um, I guess if you haven't seen any of the land animals, uh, are, are, well, this is a question to Scott. Are narwhals a thing? They are. <laughs> okay. Um, they're like a narwhal horn in a way, just a different configuration. Ah, uh, the, the beasts, the, the beasts of the far north. Yeah, I've not seen one. Have either of you? No, we've not. We've not ventured that far north. We prefer the. We prefer not being so cold. That is quite fair. <clears throat> Are your friends going to be okay here? Uh, we have many magic amongst our numbers so i think maybe that's what's going on for them can, can, I, I, well, can i can ask the tech thoughts just to get like the base thoughts sure. and then make sure their vibe is like not bad i just want to surface thoughts make sure their vibe is curiosity okay um, they seem they seem a little confused and uh curious at the fact that all of you jumped in they've that seems like a surprise. I've not seen that happen before. Why? Why do your your um, the rest of the of the tribe up there think that we draw people into the ocean to kill them? A uh, very terrible sailor misunderstandings. I mean, they could drown if they jumped in when they didn't have your magic. Mm-hmm. So that could kill them, but we would not be trying to kill them. I don't believe you would. <clears throat> we even sing to them as a gift, and they seem afraid. They just don't understand. We do appreciate the um, the waves that their their vessel creates. It's uh, it. It can help us move faster than we typically can. How are you um, able to survive up there when you have 
you can breathe here normally. Well, um, half of me is a tiefling, which is, a, I guess, an earthwalker, air breather. Um, it's how I always was until more recently when a god introduced me to the other half. Do you know of the White Serpent? Crackware? Yes. Oh, yes. The god. Mm -hmm. Fear and respect there. Yes. He granted me with some insight and showed me that I had these. And did mention my mother was of the sea. I had no idea that I was half of our people, your people. I don't even know how to... We're Nereid. We're all one people. But yes. we're many clans. I wish I knew her name. Where are you from? A nameless rock. Can you describe the rock? It's little. It only really had me and my dad, but we were near a larger community. Um, had rocks, had tide pools, a little patch of sand, a little bit of wood. <clears throat> and they start asking you a series of questions about the shape of the rock, the silhouette of it, what it what it looked like when, when both moons were on it, when only one moon was on it. Like, It's a complicated series of questions. And Desus would describe what stars were above at this time right. of year. Oh, so that sounds like like Tatum. Tatum? You must be from from the Tatum clan. They're they're very distant from here. You're very far from from your family if that's where you're from. Well, I didn't know I had family there. Uh, where about is the Tatum clan? North and west, but far. Past, way past the island of, of, of um, music. Island of music. Is it to that lone island way in the northwest before the cold? Um, you know it's in the northwest, but it's not in into the it's not in the area that turns in that becomes frozen ice in the winter. Yeah. What Desus is trying to figure out in her head is whether they're directing her towards Elixia or maybe towards the Oyster Isles. Um, it doesn't sound like Elixia. It sounds like a small island that they recognize. Okay. Hmm. Well, this gives us a region. Do you trade with anyone from the clan? Um, trade? We, we give them what they need if they need it, and they give us what we need if we need it. We trade with the people from above sometimes. They need things that, that, we, that we have, and we need things from them occasionally. Although not here. We, we usually follow the vessels to gain speed as we head if we're heading in the same direction if I could ask a favor the next time a trade is done with them could you ask who among them knows ever dear Lambros and to let them know his child is safe that's your father Yes. And they kind of back away from you and they kind of and they whisper to each other. And let me go back to the other screen. And when they they do, they come back. We've heard of 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 him It is, it is sort of a legend that he and 
and Galtalia had a child, but she was raised only on the land. And you okay. said earlier that you had not experienced the water until recently. That, that's true. Um, uh, that that may be your mother, because they. We've never seen, and they like point where their head is. That on any of our kind, except the legend of of Galtalia of Galtalia's child. It's very nice to meet you. I've never met um, a famous person. I didn't know I was famous. You've been in the wrong circles, perhaps. Uh, uh. Is it true you can you can survive fire as well as as water? I guess it depends on what you mean by survive, but I can definitely weather fire. That's exciting. Oh. Interesting. We'll pass word around that we've met you. And perhaps your mother will hear word and a reunion could be made in the future. Yes, yes, uh... Where 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 are you going to that we can put word if we if we hear anything? Well, we're heading to um, the island east, just off the major shore. Um, I don't know if they would know Jerian. Um, can you describe we'll, it? We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll so, ask the the air breathers where Jerian is. They have they name things very differently from us. Yes, uh, Darien is a port on this kind of squarish island, uh, and it's just off that big main shore that wraps around here. We're heading directly east, I believe, from where we are now. Um, um Jesus. Uh, for one, they can always send word to my family in Elixia. And I can also reach out to them every so often through magic if you are okay with me contacting you in such a way. How would you contact us? I have magic as a gift and it allows me to reach out to people over long distances. But you don't even know our names. You don't, you know nothing about us I've, and you can still- I've met you. I've met you right now. I'm Vesrin. Vesrin. What is that the, the name of your clan or your tribe? Uh, no, my name tribe? is Vesrin. My my clan, as you would call it, is House Magic. Uh, and you are able to breathe underwater. Can all of your? No, I, I'm a friend of mine from the ship. They used uh, a spell to allow oh, us. Just to breathe in the water. Were you the one whose voice we we heard singing? No, I believe that was... We heard two voices. <laughs> I looked to Dwen. <laughs> just, just to been observing in the back. Oh, I mean, I sang loud. I don't know about the second voice. It drew us to your ship. Oh. Well. There are not many who can... who. Who have a voice like that of the air breathers? Well, thank you. I'll take it as a compliment. Were you singing also with them, De with her, Desis? Are you a singer? Ah, uh, just the odd sailor shanty, <laughs> but oh. not as and skilled. They look as... so disappointed when you say that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on their face, it's like oh. <laughs> I, I'm not trained in the same way. <laughs> and what of you? Are you all a singer? Hipley? They don't say Hipley because they don't know your name, but they look at you, Hipley. I mean, when I'm when I'm alone, yeah, I, I kind of I'm more of a uh, I like to to write a little bit more. Speaking of which, do you guys are you guys able to do you have a do you guys have any books or anything, or do you guys write? Um, 
what what is a book oh my god my books are wet um <laughs> <laughs> i cry at a bowl i have wet books it's like it's suppose do you scribe on stone i can fix stone? that happily when we get on the boat um there there are sometimes symbols put on stones to mark places of, of importance how, how do you guys keep your stories is it more i guess more verbal then is that how you probably just pass along that way through songs and, and stories i imagine we oh, yes and we release our memories as we need them what's our name what do you mean by that we can bring up memories from the past that our uh, generations before have experienced. It's a way of of experiencing what happened, what came before, as as we've needed. Whoa! So how the, how else would me. you know what happened before and be able to learn from each other if you would forget every time a new one was born? Well, I think that's why us on, on the service use things like books to kind of um, wait, wait. remember. Oh. We use symbols to keep a record. Hmm. But us, your method is, it sounds, your method definitely sounds, and can you, can you glean that from anyone, like from your whole clan or from, from any, from anybody, all of your people or just certain relations? Can you? get those um down your mother's line you can follow the lineage and and learn from from those in your past so oh so he just looks at Jesus and doesn't say anything but thinks well he tell tell if he'll say Jesus like maybe you might be able to to, to do that too with, with, with your with your mother and to say that tel- tel- telepathically and that's yeah <clears throat> well that's that's cool that's that's really cool i wish i had the we had the ability up there to do something like that that made things so much well <laughs> uh, that's what we thought you were doing because you use song to to release memories from from the past and it was beautiful whatever it was would you like to sing with us as, as, oh, the ship will not be leaving until we leave, until you're back on it, will it? Uh, oh, we can do one like, yeah. song. At least, like, you know what? It's time to sing out in public, so. Perhaps, perhaps we can <clears throat> break some of these old, you know, thoughts they have if you come up and they can see that you're not a threat. You don't have to come up on the boat, but come up above the water, they see us with you. And then maybe you sing along with them and then they can see that there's no harm. And then maybe in the future, they won't react with such fear. And then they can spread the word. And they can spread the word to other sailors. We could we could sing a, a, above the waves if you wish. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and it always Vesner's sounds different above the waves, but it's all will swim up. Vesna will swim up first and say, <laughs> everything's all right. We're actually going to do a little, they're going to do a little show for you. An appreciation for the speeds of your ship and the waves. Yeah, like, use like little... to amplify that, maybe. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to say it loud, yeah. I'm going to say it. Whatever we need to to make sure that they can hear it on we're the totally, ship. We're totally under their control. It's, it's fine. No. <laughs> just want to pull one of the three aside. And I'm just, because I don't know anything about her, what can you tell me about my mother? Well, from what I had heard, she bore a child with what they call on the surface a um, a tiefel or a no, tiefling. tiefling, tiefling, and it was someone that she had saved and fell in love with and it's a it's a, a story of sadness because she could not remain the details of which i don't know but i know that she was not able to stay but she trusted 
her, I suppose your father, to to raise you well and teach you of the sea as much as teach you of the of the air. I'm not so sure that happened. <laughs> you seem rather fresh to the waters. Only the breathing part. Um, and the song. We're, you need to learn to expand your song so that you can uh, expand your your reach into your family. I would like that. So why don't you start? You you get us going in a song, and we'll join in. You don't have to sing, by the way. I'm, I'm... <laughs> yeah, me player. No, <laughs> right. I think for a moment. Lisa keeps saying she only knows sh shanties, but she does recall one. Um, it's more of just notes that her and her dad would sing when sitting at the dock. So she would start with this almost uh, gentle, kind of light ringing note. Okay. And then they look at at the rest of you to start joining in. Yeah, I'm. Hey, Blue will come in. Oh, sorry. I come in. I just come in. <laughs> right. No problem. It will come in with almost like a spoken word kind of vibe to it. So um, a little inflection. I really like almost not sing talking, but more just like a spoken word kind of fall and matching the rhythm of it, the cadence. Are you inventing water rap? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I rolled to see how my performance would be. I got a 24, so Vesmer would hit some nice notes as well. You don't ruin so, the song, for sure. No. <laughs> Surprisingly, Vesmer has a little bit of a voice to him. As yeah, he, it is he matches the notes. As he matches the notes um, along with everybody else. All right. You never needed the lute this time. <laughs> <laughs> and they wait until you get your rhythm and your music going. I got an add 20 in my performance check, so if you need to do it. Hey, I guess we're going we're going hot. <laughs> and got a that, 16 total. <laughs> got oh, got the, the water wrap on. We got <laughs> And when they come in, they they stay in a higher register, a higher range. And they make notes or tones that you don't really like they maybe a more cared one doesn't recognize the sounds. They're higher pitched than you've heard humans sing, or not humans, humanoids. Um. And then they they tell you all to go under the water, and when you go under the water, it cleans them up, and they sound better together. The tones drop a little bit, and they become feel more like natural songs. And they sing with you for a while, and the sailors up on the deck stay up there. Jada, you can tell that they are nervous, but it's hard to it's hard to walk away from from beautiful singing. You know that's why they didn't do anything when the ship was moving. They're all like mumbling to each other. Do you think any of them are going to be be drowned? Are we going to have to pull one up? We should. Do you think we need to get a tender ready to go and save one if, if one gets taken down? <coughs> and they're just all talking about, about it. They feel uncomfortable with it. And you guys sing for a while, and eventually, your, your water breathing starts to wear. <clears throat> a water breathing lasts for 24 hours so oh, yeah. <laughs> the whole day goes by all right well Same the sailors aren't waiting time. around all for 24 <laughs> yeah. hours that i can Hibley, tell you when hipley comes back he's going to, <coughs> to, to freak the to freak the sailors out to pretend to to go under and drown when he when the time gets close we roll an insight check hold on <laughs> <laughs> Let's play inside. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I I just go. He's he's pretending. It's fine. <laughs> he's playing. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> 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 
they were getting ready to scramble and drop a boat, but yeah. <laughs> you said that and saved them from wasting that time. And eventually, <laughs> eventually, you know, that it becomes time. And you start hearing them calling you from up on the boat. We need to move. We've, we can't wait out here all day or all night. We've got to, got, the boat has to be moving. <clears throat> and um, it's been an absolute pleasure to meet you and sing with you. Um, I'm going to take my leave and I'm going to go up the rope that Dwyn had for us. <laughs> oh, what should we call you? Oh, I'm Abia, the one that was speaking initially. The other one says, uh, I'm Taysir. And the last one says, I'm Sagira. Lovely singing with you. Care to win. Maybe we'll meet someday again. I hope we do. I hope so. Go on. Maybe next time on, in, on land. That is, it's so weird being up there. So heavy. <laughs> that would be wonderful. And, and hopefully I'll find a way to um, to maybe get you a form of a, a book that can withstand the uh, the waters and be able to give that to you guys the next time we meet. So I'll definitely be working on that too. You'll have to teach us the symbols. Oh, true. Oh. That's what that's oh, what you just it. it's Teach full of symbols, you. right? Yes. Yes. Oh. oh my gosh. Yes. Don't worry. You know, next time I have a course. Don't worry. It'll be worry a beautiful about it. cultural <laughs> exchange. <Yes. laughs> that sounds amazing, Hipley. <clears throat> and you all slowly work your way up to the boat. Except maybe yeah. Desus last, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm last and I kind of turned to the trio and give a nod and thank you. And I hope to learn more about us. <laughs> I seem to have a lot to learn. Well, this is a start. Yeah. Every journey starts with the, with the first kick of the wave. True. Very true. We hope you find your mother. I hope so. Until well, the uh, waves crash once more. And... Please let the the people on the vessel know that we'll be following for a little while further. Yes, and we we'll hope they don't mind them. the singing. <laughs> sure, once they understand what's actually happening, they'll be fine. And you climb up, and they they wave to you as you go up. And once they start getting up about halfway kind of hands i'm just very holding there pressing my head against my hands just trying to one to switch my breathing and to regather is, thoughts and feelings yeah it is a very weird and uncomfortable feeling going from breathing water to breathing air through gills and then through 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 your lungs through your mouth through your mouth and nose but you know, you're getting more used to it. It still takes a moment to get used to it every time, but it's not something you'll fail at now. Yeah. And you all get up. <clears throat> and Jada, they sang down there a lot, a long time. Why were you guys singing? Well, I like to sing. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> That's like, true. collectively, like even Hipley. <laughs> We wanted to show them the sailors of Naria didn't mean any harm. Or we, you know, put on a show with them a bit more friendly. Have you tried singing before, Gina? Um, no. I mean, maybe sometime we, you, you know, I mean. No. <laughs> no, so there's just this like, little bit of a gleam in Dwin's eyes and you say no and she's just like <clears throat> oh. I feel you could drop a wicked bass Jada I swear I don't know what that means Jada probably has perfect pitch <laughs> auto tune <laughs> auto -tune. <laughs> oh my god yes Vezrin's cast in presentation to dry everybody up <laughs> especially Hipley's books <laughs> uh, that's probably appreciated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. 
So oh. what did you, what did you learn? Oh. Is that good? I knew about my mother. Apparently, Desus is famous under the sea. Yeah. I guess um, someone of land and someone of water is a very rare thing to have them have a child. That's interesting. But uh, she's somewhere northwest past Wythe, which they call the Island of Music. So at least we have a general region. They said it wasn't cold, so... But they would pass along that. I'm fine. Oh, good. Is that on the way to where we... You look at the map. That's not on the way to where we're going, right? That's... We're going east. No, you're going east. Oh, man. We'll find a way to get there. Or at least get word to your mother. And maybe produce as a door that's kind of close to that might be able to help as well. I don't know if we ask for any spots in that area. How, how, how will you feel with all that information that you received? I mean, I know that's probably a lot to take in, especially. <sighs> It is a lot. And then I turn to Dwin and take her hands. I'm like, can you teach me to sing? She like, you see her eyes just <laughs> become so excited and she takes your hands back. Of course. Not even tell us and ask for that. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. I imagine you want to begin probably tomorrow. Yeah, I think All I might right. be too emotional to hit the correct things right now. That's how it works, yeah. right? Uh, emotions are definitely a part of singing, so. <clears throat> and probably best. for another day or two, the, the Nereids swim along with the boat. And then just one day or at a certain moment, they veer off and they're gone. And they are gone pretty quickly. And they head further south and the boat continues east to Jariad. As you get to Jariad, it has been two weeks. What are you doing with the mass pieces? I mean, anytime it tries to even talk to its instant guiding all. bolt. It has so talked. good. <laughs> good. <laughs> In that two weeks, I want to just make it, um, I would have kind of come up with like a learning plan of how to, a basic plan of how to, to read, basically. So I definitely would have worked on that with the free time between like getting there. Um, Dwin and Desus would have started their singing lessons. She, um, she started with breath support. She'd need to build that up first. So proper posture, breath exercises. Um, t- teaching her to not uh, basically when, when you sing you need to relax your body a lot because uh, if you have any tension here it will like just clench the sound so she's teaching her like relax here relax here pull strength from the diaphragm um, you can you can even use uh, like lower back muscles too but that's more advanced stuff so just be focusing on that first and then move into like probably vowels uh, you have going up scales. I think Vest and what good. What are Hippo and Vestrin doing? I was gonna say yes, because I wanted to talk to Vestrin and Jada before we landed as well. <clears throat> um Hippley would definitely ask um a Vestrin Vestrin, have you ever thought about maybe you were talking about how like the crazy stuff has been happening. Have you ever thought about writing a memoir? <laughs> no, I'm not worthy of such a thing. I mean, to your people, I mean, you are pretty big in Elixir. I think, <laughs> especially if going on, I think you're pretty big. And I'm just saying I can help you if you need some help write it. I'm just saying I would definitely be there to help you to put it down. That's all I'm saying. Because you are, I mean, look what you've done for your people. You continue to do. 
how you say them too. So, I mean, that is pretty. I appreciate the words. I don't know if I've done much for my people except let them down mostly. I think if you can write it out, you'll see that you've done more than what you're expecting. But writing it down, I think you'll definitely <clears throat> see the what you've brought to them. It's definitely more than I think what you're thinking you've taken away. So just just a thought. If you want to, I will definitely be down to help you put that down onto paper. Maybe, perhaps. Maybe we we'll can talk more about it down the road. Right now, it's it's still. I just when I think about what happened at my home, I think about all the people that died and it's kind of hard to think about writing that in a way that tells a, 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 a happy ending in the sense i mean sometimes sense. you don't get the happiest of endings Ending. but at least putting on a way for future generations they can know what has happened and hopefully be able to learn from you know, build a heat from whatever you may have learned from it too. So almost like how the myriads, how they kind of can pull up their own history almost by what they're talking about. But that way you can kind of do it too, not as efficiently, but you can still kind of have it down and that way you can still kind of pass it down too. So when you have children or to, to your family as well, then they can learn well, from the I good do, and the bad. I, I do have a journal that I've been writing in since, since we began. You know, I showed you that the other day when you... Assumed I didn't have one. Perhaps that could be used to turn into something. I, I think you'd be much better at making that into an actual story more so than myself. Maybe maybe you could help in that way. I guess I would, I would love to. That'd be, of course, I think it'd be a lot of fun. Um, but school would be, I would get to know you a little bit better as well. Because, you know, if we only, well, I mean, two years plus, I mean, we haven't, I don't think we've, what has it been? Like six months? I mean, it has been... I, I feel like it's been about six months for us, but to the rest of the world, apparently it's been a couple of years. Mm -hmm. So, but yes, it's yeah. lots happened in the, the time that we've, <laughs> we've been grouped together. And Jada, what are you doing over the next week? I know you haven't. Oh, I was. Yet. Oh, go on. I was going to try to talk to Jada in private. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll like to act your best friend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> popular <laughs> so I would, I would would you be staying in your mentors or your creator's room um yeah I think that's probably where they got like their upgrades level ups mm -hmm. from too just by sorting through um Lushi's notes and stuff like that I did want to mention I would have at some point given Lushi to the sea um, as best okay. as I could have yeah, but yes. In in the meantime, um, they spend a lot of time either up in the crow's nest, just watching and journaling, or down in um, Lucy's cabin. So I would I would catch you probably down in the cabin, not up in the Did crow's nest. No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't fly. <laughs> Best one doesn't like heights, so he would knock. Yes. Um. It's me. Is it all right if I came in for a moment? Yes. And he'll like crack the door open and step in. <clears throat> he just kind of looks around at the room, looking at all of the things. And then he just, his eyes will kind of come back to Jada. How are you doing with everything? I need to clean uh, and sort things and yes but how are you doing what do you mean I, you you say you, you don't know but I'm, I'm fairly confident you have an idea of what i'm asking you how are you feeling about everything that's transpired you <sighs> you know with lucy and chandran We really haven't had a chance to really, you know, see how you're doing with everything that's been going on with, with the myriads following us. And I just wanted to check in on you. Why? Because you're my family. 
You're my chosen family, all of you. And you swore to be here for us and we're here for you. Okay, I... feel like if I touch it, it'll burn me from the inside out. I feel like if I acknowledge it, I will start screaming and I won't stop. (laughs) I feel so much rage and I direct it at Chandran, I direct it at Nios, I direct it out. But I was journaling yesterday and I think I realized Chandran didn't kill Lu Shi, I did. Oh. You didn't kill Lucy. I did. I I was the one who insisted she put the pin in me. Did I you was know the one she was going to do this? No, but <laughs> you didn't I should it. have. How? You sound like me now. The me you were yelling at the other day. tables have turned (laughs) don't like it when you turn the tables on me I hate it when you do it to me so it's fair as fair I get the pain though I do when I lost my mother as a child mad at the world mad at my father my brothers everyone that same burning burned me up for years. I felt inadequate almost my entire life. It didn't help that my family pretty much told me I was worthless. That only made things worse. The rage, I know it all too well. No matter what you do, it's there. It doesn't go away. What am I supposed to do then? Honestly, I'm still figuring that out myself. But I think, I think being with you, all of you, it's starting to feel better. It doesn't, doesn't hurt as much. I don't feel as useless as I did before. I don't feel like I'm, have no meaning. And I think just being with those who believe in me helps. Because we, I, none of us look at you and, and see you as what you just told me you were to Lucy. No, nobody thinks that you killed Lucy. Lucy loved you. They loved you enough to choose you over themselves. And don't take that away from them. That's a gift. When somebody chooses you over themselves and they choose the love for you over the love for their own life, it is precious. She saw something in you that we all see. I'm so impressed with who you are and I'm excited to see who you will become. And i um, just glad that I get to know you. And I want to thank you for being a part of my chosen family, for being that kindred spirit to me. Why are you saying, why are you talking like this? Why do you sound like you're leaving? I'm not leaving, I promise you. It's just, the more, the few times that I've gotten to speak with you, I found, you know, it's, it's nice to realize that there's somebody else out there like myself. And I know what I went through with my mother when I lost her and feeling that that kindred spirit with you, I just felt like I needed to come and speak with you 
tell you these things so you know that you're not alone to know that you have a new family it may not be as great as your old one but we all care about you and i just want you to know that you are not alone you don't have to feel what you're feeling alone i know that hipley cares about you deeply you're like a sibling i feel like you guys seem like siblings and it's a beautiful connection I know Desus and Dwin both care for you deeply as, as much as I do. I just, I, I'm not leaving, I promise you. I'm, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. We're going to see this through together. There's no reason for me to leave. We all have the same mission at hand. So, just needed you to know that we care. Don't do that to yourself. Don't blame yourself for what Lucy chose to do. It's out of your control. You couldn't stop them if you tried. I just wish I would have known that was the last time I was ever going to speak to her. <laughs> I know that. And you see like tears in his eyes as he reflects on his own loss with his mother. I know that all too well. And he'll give you a hug, which Vezra never initiates hugs. <laughs> why, why, why is everyone so insistent on Don't fight it. Just accept <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm learning to do the same with, with all of you. You should learn to do the same as well. Hey, Vezra. Yes. You'd tell us if you weren't okay, right? Yes, I would. Not before, but now I would. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And then, if you need anything, and then he'll close the door behind him. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm, I'll just, I'm just going to jump in. So when Vezrin, when you come back to your room, Dwin's in there. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me mute myself. I'm outside the door. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's like, she went through the effort of, of taking a bath. So like, she's not like super sexy, but she like smells nice and like, <laughs> She's in her pajamas and it's really just like um like loose clothing. So you like you see like more of her, but it's like it's more of her like exposing it's supposed to be symbolic of her exposing her emotionally side too. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she, you come in and she has like two little like teacups and one is like halfway like already sipped and, and she's just like, Oh, um hi. I brought tea. I'm sorry, it's probably cold now. I, I imagine like he opens the door, but he's not even looking as he comes in and kind of because he closes it quietly behind him and then he turns. Oh, um, uh, his face is all red and like uh, looks like he's been crying or something. <laughs> yes. Oh, should I come back late? Are you no, okay? No, no. yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just I just spoke with with Jada a few moments ago. Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, I wanted to talk to you because we haven't really been talking. Yes, I. <clears throat> sorry, I figured I'd give you some space after ruining our moment of joy the other day. It's easy to blame the mask, but um, you know it simply thrives on our self doubts. But I, I feel like I've made things awkward, and I'm sorry. Well, uh, first of all, I I realized I missed talking to you. So. Yeah, it's been quiet. <laughs> yeah. I must admit that I have been, I have been listening on the singing, enjoying that when I can. You know, she's coming a long way. I didn't you. <laughs> <laughs> you see her blush. Her ears no, turn. Thesis has come a long way, yes, but I meant I've been listening to you sing. Oh, thank you. Well, I just wanted to. 
I guess clear the air about um, why I was mad. And I didn't really know how to express what I was mad about for a long time. But I think I was upset because I felt like you shut me out. I, I do that. Everything we've been through. It wasn't so much you, it's more so... I, I mean, I, I shut everybody out when I did that, but it was more of just disappointment in myself. I want to be more, I want to be better. You know, you, you know how my family was. It's always, I spent my whole life. Vesrin's not as good as Eldrin. Vesrin's not as good as, you know, Roth. Vesrin's never good enough He's not the best swordsman. He's not the best mage. He's not the best at anything. And I finally felt like I was becoming my own. And then the mask really did a number on me the other day. Oh, a couple, oh, like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And it just took me back. I know it's, I know it's hard to put away old wounds. Oh, but, um, None of us, may, none of us think of you as that. I know, but it it made me think of myself as that, if that makes sense. Like, I know that you guys don't think of me that way. You know, you don't think of me as useless. <clears throat> if you did, I wouldn't be here with you. You wouldn't keep me around. <laughs> you would have left me at some port a long time ago. <laughs> but well, just... Maybe. Go on. Go on. It just it just that made me go back, you know. Um, since you're here, was it okay that I gave you that kiss? I I honestly should have asked first. I know, but you know, I just need to know now if I overstepped. Uh, she, she, that came like completely out of left field for her. So you see her face just she's just kind of nodding, and then like this yeah. kind of like jaw drop. Oh, um. Sorry, I know that was a little off topic, but it's just, it's been on my mind and I just was wondering if I, I you know, overstepped. I didn't mind at all. <sighs> In fact, I kind of liked it. <sighs> it was nice. It was very nice. I, I will admit that. And he's like nervous. <laughs> um, I don't really know what it means for us. I know that in our time together, I've... I've grown to really love and appreciate having you in my life. I mean, you've stood by me through pretty much all of this, practically since I left home. And I know I wouldn't have been able to do any anything without you. Um, yeah, you've, I mean, I feel the same way. And honestly, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to say the same thing. We've been together since they can thin, and um, you can always count on me. I feel the same. I honestly, during all this, it has become quite easy for me to understand and to see why Eldrin fell in love with you, which makes this all that much more complicated. He's my brother. And I, I don't know. I know I will never be him, and, I, and I'm sure you don't expect me to, or even want me to be, but I just, I just don't really, with all the chaos and everything that's been, I really don't know how we should proceed, you know? Life can be short, but we need to make the best of the time we can together. Well, first of all, uh, Eldrin definitely had his own problems. <laughs> he, <laughs> he was not this. Uh, I mean, he certainly was romantic, but he um, could also be very mean. And you were never mean to me. Um, I think. I think that's something my family's done to both of us. <laughs> I don't like being mean when I don't need to be. Um, you see her kind of just, uh, 
she gets like a little closer to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, do you, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to proceed either. I, um, yes, there's so much to figure out. I mean, with Talison, my family, and millions of more details all scrambled within all of it. I, <clears throat> and he's like, you know, like trying to shift uncomfortably, but like comfortably, like he's like in that weird state where he doesn't know how he should proceed either. I, I do know that I want to return home with you when this is all done. I know I want to figure out what all this means. I know, uh, I know that I'd like to make a place that brings music and magical spas and drinks to our people, and that I'd like to create that with you. Oh, oh that sounds lovely and great. Yes, I'd like that. I I don't know when that will happen, given our circumstance. <laughs> But I, I, uh, I do know that I, um, I'd like to kiss you again. That's all right. And uh, he's like, oh. Um, and then he uh, takes his hand and he leans in and he like, like moves some of your hair out of your face. And he leans in and he whispers in your ear, I'd like that too. Uh, and she, you feel her hand caress your cheek as she brings you in for a Tinder smooch. And <laughs> it turns, it's with like those like kind of like long, slow uh, beginning to experience like what what they are together. Mm -hmm. And uh, she uh, pulls away and puts her forehead to yours. Um, I like this. It was nice, yes. Oh, oh okay. Um, <laughs> well, I, um, I guess I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. Yes, of, of course. And he, like, stands up and opens the door for you. Um, <laughs> would, you, would, you would you like me to walk you back to your room? Uh, sh sure, of course. <laughs> And then he'll escort you back to make sure you get to your room, your cabin safely. Not that it's any danger, but just the gentleman and him, the way he was yeah. raised. Um, when you're at the door, she kind of just, when, as you're walking, she, you feel her hand just hold yours. Mm -hmm. And when you get to the door, she says, well, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. There's just this kind of like moment where she doesn't want to like go of her hand and then she does. She kind of like just <laughs> giddily opens the door and, and, and slowly closes it. And he just like leans against the wall for a moment, like just like taking it all in, replaying everything, and then just quietly walks back to his room with a smile on his face. <laughs> all right. Why don't we take a five minute break? <laughs> back in, in a few <laughs> see you in a few everyone see you in a few
mics. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. <clears throat> We're back to uh, the days of our lives. D and D style. <laughs> Damn. D days of our lives. That's funny. Uh, I don't know if there's anything I have to do tonight. Are any other, any other major conversations <laughs> need to happen? <laughs> yeah, I think I One think more. with Vezrin realizing that he's he's you know he's been wanting to talk to everybody one on one, letting them know how much he appreciates them, and he was able to talk to Hipley towards the beginning of this this journey, right? And and Jada recently, and then surprise talk with with Dwin, which made it very. Very easy for him, and there's yeah, only one in, person in your visible. cabin. Yeah, in my cabin. <laughs> so I think, I think you probably would find her like the next morning uh, before everybody was up, because you know he gets up before everybody, anyways, and wait a little bit, and then wait outside Desus's door. Um, and when he hears her like starting to move around and get ready, then he will give her enough time to get ready and then knock, just like. <laughs> Just sec, and I just come over, fly open the door, and I haven't brushed my hair or anything, just looks like I slapped on clothes, and hair's wild and tossed, half sleep, maybe there's a little bit of... She's just like, did, yeah. did I wake you? If I if I woke you, I could... Oh, I could no, up. it's fine. I'm sailor's life, used to the morning. I just sleep hard when I do sleep. There you go. Well, I was just hoping to have a moment uh, to talk to you. Uh, sure, come in. How how's, how are you feeling after... The myriads. And that kind of cheery expression changes a little bit. It's a lot. But you have a lead. Yeah, I, I do. Well, I've been, I've kind of talked to everybody already, and, but I wanted you to know that like the stars that you study, they're kind of like our northern star, kind of, kind of guide us on this the sea. And I think, uh, I think your direction is very valuable, and I was just curious, what what do you plan to do when this is all said and done? Oh well, I mean, of course, find my mom. But before I knew anything, I had, and she kind of blushes a little bit, it's just, I had, <laughs> I had thoughts about learning something from each of you. Um, when I thought I was Elvin, I thought I could visit you and Alexia and maybe learn about Elvin stuff, maybe, maybe not be as sloppy as I am. <laughs> mm -hmm. you, you're always so graceful and... There's just that about you that I really see. And I thought with yeah. Dwen, well, now I'm learning singing with her. Uh, but she's definitely someone and her being a mother that was seeking her child and me being a child seeking her mother. I definitely felt, I felt kind of close in that way. I think, yeah. I think <clears throat> Hipley could probably show me so many books. <laughs> I don't know if he remembers me saying I only ever read five. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought maybe he could show me the best of them and really, I could probably learn to be a faster reader. I'm kind of slow when it's not charts. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Well, um, I wanted you to know that if you are interested, I would love for you to come to Elixia, maybe make a home there, if you wish. It's an island full of sailors, and they all respect both the land and the sea, which I think is quite fitting for where you come from. I really do believe that, that our island would be better having someone like you living there and protecting it. You could be teaching Talison the way of the Druid. Um, find lots of connections with both the nature and plenty of ships and captains, which I can introduce you to. 
that can help you search the world and beyond for your mother. Um, you know, I'll be sure to put a, a crew together if we need to. Perhaps Captain Amari. I'm sure I could convince my family to help Captain Amari get the new ship and maybe help you find your mother, where you're from. You know? Plus, my my daughter will need her extremely cool aunt to help <laughs> guide her through this crazy world, you know? And, and obviously my request is kind of a huge one, but I, and I would not be insulted if that's not anything that you want, but I just wanted you to know that you will always have a home in Elixia by my aunt as a magic. And when you're talking, you hear the, the breakfast bell go off, somebody's ringing it, letting everyone know that breakfast will be served shortly. <laughs> I do appreciate that offering. I'd like to definitely make a home, even it just ends up being a winter home or something. Um, <laughs> before, before I even left, I was Deesa's Lambros, queen of the tide pools, maker of sand, defender <laughs> of little critters in my little forest. And then I washed up on shore one day and learned seemingly that I don't know much at all, but when I'm with you all, I know at least what direction I need to be. And that I see, you know, Jada, I see Tipley, Dwen, I see you. We all carry much burdens. And Deesa puts a hand on her shoulder. And he'll put one on yours and he'll say to you, you know, you say that you don't, you, you discover that you didn't know much, but I am beginning to believe that no matter how old we are, none of us really know much. There's we're always all things just, to learn. We're always just, all of us just stumbling through, trying to figure it out one step at a time and having strong friends, family by your side definitely makes it easier to take those steps. I'm glad to call you all my family, but I have found. I'm glad to call you my brother. You my sister. Perfect. And I flick your ear. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> and then I follow up with a hug. <laughs> and he'll give you a hug back. Like a real hug. Not like the pat hug I just did that in civilized <laughs> hug. <laughs> and you and hear then, uh, people out in the hallways starting to head to the to the mess. Should we go join the others and grab food? Yeah, they're probably going to need some fresh herbs to make it taste good because we've been out here uh -huh. for a very long time. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then uh, as we're walking down and right when we're about to get to where everybody is, I go, oh, by the way, uh, Twin and I kissed last night. And then I step into the room and I sit down to eat. <laughs> what? <laughs> and like just the loudest <laughs> what? Verberating out. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, the, the rest of them are already in there, probably, before you. And I immediately look for Dwen. <laughs> People are lining up the, the mess, the, the seats in the mess, but you guys all get your own table. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Dwen would not have been able to sleep a lot last night. Just and so she she got up. She's there. She's just trying to play it cool and then like drinking <laughs> her, her tea. <laughs> and well, down in the mess, the cabin girl is serving everybody their drinks. You know, ale, water, tea. I think we even have some coffee from from the from Mirador. Oh, coffee, yes, please. Coffee with whiskey in it. Oh, yes. And I'm like awesome. completely looking between Dwen and Vezrin and continuing to look back and forth. So how do you guys sit? Like, what is the sitting arrangement? I'd be posing next to Jada, I think. Yeah. Um, well. I, she, I feel like Dwen would have been the first one at the breakfast table. Um, so she would have just picked a, a chair with another chair next to it, which is very vague, but 
so it depends on how Jada and Hipley situated themselves around her more than anything. Been across on the okay. end of the at the end of the table. I have, my, I have my notebook. I'm scribbling in it. So then I will sit next to Jada across from from like directly across from Gwen, right? Because you're sitting there off off to the side a little bit, right? Is it like a round table or a square table? I was going to say, now, now I'm like, wait a minute, wait. You can, when you get in, you can pick the table shape you want. I was envisioning a round, round, half square. round okay, table. So a round table. So she, I, this is what I have envisioned. We have Dwin, empty chair, Hipley, uh, Jada, empty chair, empty chair, Dwin. Okay. That's I'll sit right. in one of the empty chairs next to Jada, but across to where I can look right at Dwin. I come over, immediately sit down beside Dwen, <laughs> stare at Vezrin, and then kind of look side eye to Dwen. <laughs> and, just and then I like... look to Hipley. <laughs> just like... Is it can? Because Hipley would have stayed, like, would, like, kind of snuck outside the door if he could have. Yeah. So, are we saying that that's because he would have done it? Okay, if... for sure. She is the only clueless one. <laughs> <laughs> Which totally makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> That's a more advanced emotional level than you're ready for. Yeah, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> Jada's just journaling, completely oblivious to everything. Make, so make me a, a perception check, Jada. Actually, an insight check. Sorry. Insight? <laughs> yeah. Let's see if you notice the weird glares and looks and stuff back and forth between um, everybody. Well... You don't notice. Right. <laughs> You're totally oblivious. So, Jade, are you up? enjoying writing in, in your journal? Hopefully, is yeah, that? It, yeah, I figured out that um, logging things is really boring. So I started adding colors and stuff like oh. that, and now I can fill whole pages. Oh, wow, that's that's really cool, man. What's your What's your favorite? I don't know if I ever asked. What What's your favorite color? Green. That That's good sense. for you. When she kind of like looks at your green body. <laughs> <It's really laughs> for you. <laughs> it's the color of the. It's a Korean. Oh. Word. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. It's, Hi, it's a good It's a good color for you. <laughs> And the, the cabin girl comes over and, like, she brings the drinks and sets them down. And she looks at all of you, you know, in a, not knowing, but knowing something. Mm -hmm. And Jada doesn't even notice it on her. Nope. <laughs> Is it the same cabin girl? The, yeah, totally. The There's only one. <laughs> drops off the drinks and heads back. And as she leaves... She looks back over her shoulder once, or, you know, uh, like halfway through the room, and then she starts whispering to somebody over as she brings. I would say when she comes by, I would say I would say like, like so. I mean, the other ghost. We don't think it's an issue, right? But the other ghost that we see, that's not. We don't think that's going to be much of a problem, correct? But when I know that the camera girl's in earshot, just to kind of mess with them. <laughs> Another girl. What are we talking about? A hmm? ghost. No, the, there are a lot of ghosts at sea. Mm -hmm. so, yes. ah, that's... We have something very important to discuss. And I'll, I'll look at Dwin and I'll look at Desus and then I go, so when we get to where we're going, what is the plan? <laughs> <laughs> what is our next move? The plates. <laughs> well, um... One thing we mentioned and talked about was possibly seeing Hipley's patron. Uh, they seem like the most knowledgeable connection that we can get in touch with, and they are connected to, as we found out, a sphinx in Reveus. So double the knowledge. I thought that was our plan, was to go try to get to the sphinx over in well, Caveus, right? Captain. So we should. We need to find a. We need to find a route there. Either some type of transportation, or horses, or camels if it's in the desert. Well, we could possibly find another ship and then sail in, and then go up the. Yeah. Well, 
We discussed the possibility goals. of with Mama to go to Titus yes. and then travel down. We were told it is a very cold, almost desert-like environment, so we'd have to prepare um, for a tundra, I suppose. Mm-hmm. So, well, I mean, we, we just need to, we should figure that out so that way we're not just rambling around the city aimlessly. Uh, you know, if, if he really wants me, I don't know why they're making it that difficult. You know, with all that power, there's definitely a way that they probably could communicate it, but no, we got to traverse through some desert to go. <sighs> if there's anything I've learned about gods and patrons, <laughs> they like to make you work for it. It's a trial, it's- for sure. Yeah. Well, Stupid trial if you ask me, but I get it <laughs> as much as I can. Well, if we're <sighs> going to use Mama's portal system, do I know... Does she have a stop at the Jerian? She or? she told us where the closest one was. I think we asked before we left. I think it was what um, Disa was saying, where it was. She could drop us well, off and walk some way. I can, I can call her again and ask if there's a place closer to Jerius. Yeah. I say call her. I can reach out to her. <laughs> or my celly, be like, hey. Yo. <laughs> Yo, mama, where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, for sure, she has a portal in Delius because we're arriving in Jerian. Mm-hmm. Well, we could make our way back to Delius, mm-hmm. takes some time. It's a lot of traveling, though. Oh. And the longer we're traveling over there, that's going to take another two weeks or so. Is that so bad, though? I mean, I feel like. I mean, <clears throat> fight the battles. I mean, it's been kind of, I don't know. It's been kind of nice. I mean, I guess it's not really real because we're, everything's still going on, but it's kind of nice to be away from it. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. Are we in a hurry? I mean, we might. Be. I feel like we Wait. should be with everything going on. Like, well, I don't want to be, but I feel like we should be. Nios has existed this long. The longer he exists, the more damage he does to people, and civilizations, and those he comes in contact with. Yeah. But he might already be waiting for us to come to him. Oh, I'm sure he is. But the longer we wait to engage him, the more time he has to get people after us as well. I mean, he must know what would happen to Chandra, I mean. Which he's not happy with it either. Patron, you would have, maybe, if that how works, have part of that power back. I didn't hear you. What you say? Didn't, some, didn't Chandran say something about? I was just, didn't Chandran say something about Nios being the source of his power? I thought. I thought. I thought that's how we know that they're like kind of connected. I thought. So he's, so he's kind of like the Sphinx is for you. Kind of like a patron. That's not a good thought. I mean, Nios is not. I mean, so, that doesn't make me feel any better about it. <laughs> so we just we just killed one of this patron's um you know voices in a sense. Yeah. I'm sure there'll be probably more powerful voices coming after us now. So the longer we take to deal with it, the more assassins and people trying to deal with us there'll be as well. So either we either try to get this done as fast as possible or go in some random directions and take a really long time and keep them confused as best as we can. But I would rather not do that. I'd rather get it done with. Yeah. Get it done with and return home to, you know, build something better there. Yeah, would you want to return home and, and build? Just like the best one just Dwayne and I want to build something similar to what like Mama Vaduces and um We've talked about we've mentioned it before. Yeah, the Cantor Cantina, a combination of the two. That'd be, I think that'd be really cool if you two did that. That'd be, yeah, that'd be. Yeah, we're both excited about the idea, but I suppose world saving comes first. Yeah. It always does. <laughs> I think we should go to Jerry and first. Maybe there's some resource there we don't know about. And then mm-hmm. decide, you well, know, who knows? Maybe we can 
find some other way to get there quickly. Maybe Mama has a portal there. Maybe someone else has a portal there. Yeah, let me yeah. let me let me reach out to Mama Badusa. Best you don't have any sort of teleportation spell with all your <laughs> no. you know, any kind of not not yet. I'm close to it. I've been working on trying to manipulate the ley lines and things like that, but I'm trying to figure those things out. But I'm nowhere near ready. Um, perhaps in the near future, I will be able to tap into some type of magic that lets us move from one place to another as quickly as Mama would do so. Well, we know that the sending stones are a form of transportation. Yes, I mean perhaps perhaps we can I'm when we get to. When we get to Jarius, uh, Jarian, sorry, perhaps we can find a location to summon the, the the library, and we might be able to look at other locations where there might be more of these type of sending stones, like the ones that we use to teleport around. Maybe those will be around that can take us from one place to another. Yeah. But that's an idea. But let me reach out to Mama Producer and see what she knows. And I will send a message to Mama Producer asking her uh, basically if she has a way to move us from Jerrion to somewhere else or does she know somebody in Jerrion that we can reach out to 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 figure out where to go next kind of thing. Yeah, and the answer to both are no. Yep. So we are flying by the seats of our pants. Mama just has no connections in Jerrion. All right. Hmm. So, well, it's a new adventure, new place. At least oh, we have we'll be there soon. <laughs> and and you all finish your breakfast as you're as you're talking, and <clears throat> the girl comes over and takes all your drinks, and she stares at everybody a little bit, like except except Jada. She doesn't really stare at Jada. Everything Hi. okay here? Yes. Uh, what do you know about Jerrion? Trying to distract this person's mind as well. <laughs> what is she trying to dig into? From whatever she's trying to dig into. Well, that's that's where we're we're headed. We should be there, you know, pretty soon. Well, yes, I I know that. that. I mean, have you been here before? Okay. Yes, that, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Hipley. Any shore leave on there? Or... Oh. Well, yeah, I'm from Jer- I'm from Jerrion. Oh. oh, that's what the dice told me. <laughs> <laughs> so perhaps if we paid you, you might be able to show us around a little bit, give us some directions, and so we know where we're at. Is it possible? Uh, I mean, I have ship duty, but I do get a day to to get off the ship and enjoy a little leave. Perhaps if I speak with the captain, I can get you out of the ship duties, as well as pay you. Just so we can oh, find the out. Captain we... surely won't do that. I mean, I things need to get done we on have, the ship. We well, have, you know, a ton of, you know, money, so it's it's not going to be a problem. Okay, like we don't have not, a ton of money, but we, we not, have we have enough <laughs> to convince your captain. We have a ton. We, that's not an option. So we, yes, no. You shouldn't say that very loud. That's not that's very not smart. Much, that thank well, you. Well, when you're like us, I mean, you know. You just have money to replace the money? <laughs> well, no, we just have, yes. you know, weapons to replace people's hands with, you know, <laughs> with with a cut. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Money. This <laughs> is escalating very quickly. <laughs> I'm sure we could find a guide on shore. Well, I'd, rather, but... <laughs> I'd rather find a guide that I trust, which I trust. We've been on the ship with her. I think she'd be mm. more reliable than somebody we don't know in the city. Is there anyone that you can recommend as a guide? Um, That's fair. You could you could talk to Tadig. Tadig, he's the dock master. He may know someone. Hey, sounds fair. It's a start. Yeah. I'm good jumping a Jerry, and if everyone else is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I will. I will tell the uh, Hibley. Don't tell people we have lots of money. It just welcomes people to try to take it from us. We do have lots of money. You're, you're right. But let's just not tell people that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And you all um, 
it's the middle of the day and you see the city um, and the island up ahead of you. And it's a pretty big port city. The It's got a, a really big port, much bigger than you've seen in any of these other places you've been. Bigger than Wythe, bigger than Elixia. Um, seems like this is a pretty important jumping off point for a lot of ships. And uh, you pull into port and the captain comes and sees all of you as the after the port uh, after you dock and says well we've we've arrived at Jerrion. I, I do want to say it's been a pleasure having all of you on the ship um, and if you need anything else let me know we'll be here for about three days as we resupply and uh, take on new um, new passengers and cargo so how much do you owe you what did you say, Desus? Well, I, I just asked, have a question, but I <laughs> can go first. <laughs> Dwayne asked how much how much they owe him. I think it was paid, wasn't it? By Lucy? Yes. Or we paid That's more. True. Lucy had paid it. That was well, Lucy had paid her passage for herself. Really for kind of. <laughs> Not for like five <laughs> extra people. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm fine with giving him some coin. Um, I'll come up with a number and, and tell you later. Let's um, ask the captain. Um, do you know where you're heading after this? Get me to it, Jesus. I was going to ask the same. If you're going east, that might tempt us to continue with you. Um, we'll, we'll be heading to Isia. Oh. And I look to everybody. <laughs> That's east where that gets us closer. Jada's face darkens. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> this is... It's just... Whew. Maybe we can... We'll consider we'll, it. Yeah. We have three days to think about it. True. Um, she just... She, she gives the captain like ten gold for all the trouble we caused. Because I know we're trouble. Everyone's asked, was, was it really a pleasure? I mean, are you just saying that, or was it like... Desert really, was like, thinking the same thing. It's like, was, was, was it really a pleasure? Was, pleasure? <laughs> was it... Sometimes it's good for a journey to end. Oh, <laughs> dang, Diplomatic response. <laughs> <laughs> just... Okay. Um, well. Our cabin girl says that you're interested in bringing her or in talking to me about having her go as a guide. I really do need her on ship. Oh, we That's do fine. probably found someone else. So yeah, she mentioned the, someone local. Yeah, she mentioned the dock master. Are you familiar? Tatting? with Tatting. Yeah. Yes. Do um, you consider them a trustworthy source? They can find you a dock master. I mean, a guide. <laughs> or I mean, a guide. I mean. Um, I'm not sure there's a dock master alive that is completely trustworthy. That is very oh. true. Only with the right men. Not in a port this size, especially. Right. Any any interesting places we should check out while we're in Jerry? And any inns or locations of interest? Um, he starts, you know, mentioning bars and inns and, uh, you know, no various, libraries. various places, all of them near the docks. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you let's go let's go explore the city I spent so long it's been a land <clears throat> yeah our feet are like wobbly ground's moving <laughs> this is always the fun part it is fine and when you when you get off the the boat Somebody turns to you, Desis, and says, "Did were you? Did you ask me something? Did you ask me if you could? Did you need a guide or something?" Uh, it's very kind of now getting super suspicious. <laughs> oh, I'm I sorry. I thought I heard you ask me if I was a guide. 
Uh, we were, and I'm looking over at Vezrin. Do I feel anything from my bag? <laughs> now that you mention it, you do. Oh, dang. And immediately her face is just hardening and fate, like eyes narrowing. No, no. I think oh, you must have heard the wind. Ah. Uh, oh, well, pardon me then. Mm hmm. And, and I look to the group on. and you see her like very oh, and hand on satchel, just like ready to blast the can. <laughs> <laughs> it's been about two weeks, yes. Changing of the god, perhaps, time? It is about time, yeah. Luckily, it only tried once more, but I made my intentions clear. And I pull Jada aside, preparing unwrapping my satchel from the druidcraft <laughs> all these flowers just fall out. flowers moss is like a... <laughs> <laughs> and then the mask wrapped in my uh scarf that i had bought with jada um it's like just let me know if it does anything so far my guiding bolt has stopped it make me a wisdom save please uh-huh 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 you got this. You got this. You got this. No I'm going to use the big metal die. The pieces die of metal. Well, thanks, die. Um, that is a total of 14. I rolled low. <laughs> okay. So you go to hand it, and as much as you want to get rid of it, it kind of is hard to put your hand all the way out and open it to let it go easily. And Jada, you see in Deesa's sort of a struggle to put it out to you. And then you understand. And you've seen this before. It's not like the first time. Yeah. You can... You can let go. Do we see this as well? Oh yeah, yeah. It's 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 not hidden. It's not un inobvious. I'm gonna take. I'm just gonna take <clears> it. <throat> and Jesus hates this mask. Like it's not even like there's no joy in that with this with the mask and her. And you're able to take it, but it's it's an uncomfortable moment for Jesus. And you see, the moment it leaves her hand, though, it's like a relief. And there. <laughs> yeah, and now I'm like full on glaring directly at the mask. I quickly look around. Is there a lot of people on the dock? Yeah. Yeah, it's busy docks. Go ahead and do it. You know you want to. <laughs> well, well, it's now in Jada's hands. You'd be blasting Jada. <laughs> <laughs> now you aim really well. well. Yeah, she'd be like the Toro, Toro. <laughs> you're here, you're here. <laughs> No, I'm just, instead, I'm just going to read Druidcraft, um, just grappling tendrilled vines that are pure white, snaking around it. And then I tap Jada, and just for, I know it doesn't last long, but just a guidance on them. <laughs> Jada, make me a wisdom save. Cool. With that guidance, <laughs> I'm going to cast resistance. Guidance is a D4? Yeah. Okay. But it's not for saving throws. Never mind. Uh, it's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. Just kidding. Yeah, it is just Billy checks. What's my resistance is for saving? Oh, it's just plus two. Okay, 15. All right. And it hits your hand, and you hear actually, not you. Everybody hears, oh, it's now you and I. And for the first time, you hear the mask without it feeling like it's a telepathic thing well, all of us like, like a, a voice like, a... like it's a voice and you hear a voice not in your head an actual just... vocalization that's gonna cause oh, issues i think it's because huh. we've all spoken to it now oh no oh so jada, don't know jada hasn't there. spoken to it yet so jada's well, not going <laughs> to <laughs> but i'm saying like you've come in contact with it hippley's yeah. reached out to it all of us have held it, and now you're holding it. 
Mm-hmm. And now we all hear its voice. Oh, you're Wait, a sharp what? one, aren't you? Well, yes. I'm going to cast a suggestion. Like, can you just shut up? I'm going to cast a suggestion. I'm suggesting <laughs> that it shuts up on the mask. Like, <laughs> <laughs> suggest, <laughs> suggesting, if I can, on the mask. Yes, yes master. Wisdom 16. Do you ever think in your life you'd cast the jest on the mask? Shut up. <laughs> and the mask, you know, it, it sort of trails off and stops talking. Lamau! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Good use of a spell. Well, that's new. I didn't know it could. <laughs> it's pleasant. Can, can other people. So. Like we hear it audibly, right? So, like, do we think like yeah. other people can hear this too? Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> this is gonna be. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, can I we... cast blight on it? Blight. This is how angry Desus we... is getting. <laughs> what if we have, like a ba- Could we put in a bag of holding or something? I've seen those bags. You can put lots of things in. Could that be? We have a bag. Of... We don't have uh, one of those. Could we get something like that? I mean, I've seen those before. With that, do you think that could like? I don't know. The closest well, thing you have to that is the the library. You oh, probably, hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> you probably just stuff it in the library and leave it in there. Actually, actually, that uh, is not a bad idea. Hear me out. But but there's people can go in there too, though. Yes, hear me out. We buy a solid chest, a very good one, well-crafted. I cast Arcane Lock on it. They don't know magic like we do. They should have a hard time opening it. And we put it somewhat in the house, hidden away, that they may not know about. Yeah. We can, yeah. I mean, I'm so scared I'll try to reach out through the chest to them. I mean, that's we a good idea. We could, I mean, th- wasn't, that, wasn't there like that one secret door in there? Like that, that yeah, she had hidden? A, yeah. Yeah. If the we put the, the chest, Arcane locked the chest, put it in there, Arcane locked the thing there, double locked, put away. Just saying. No, if I like it out of my sight. Wow. Yeah, no, because I've heard like, <laughs> they, we go back and, and can, it's gone. Like, what the? F- <laughs> you can only you can summon it every seven days. They can only summon it every two weeks, right? Mm-hmm. Well, we don't know if other people have access to the library. Exactly, we don't know the connections. This is true. I mean, it's, it's not a bad idea, but I'm just I don't know. I don't. Know if I'm, man, I do I'm, like the box idea. Is there? Guess, a, yeah. Something that blocks out magic or something? That's, that's what I was thinking. Some sort of anti-magic kind of field that well, we can... There are, I've read of things about those, but very little. I don't know enough about it to really be able to do anything with that. Didn't, didn't you tell us that it doesn't give off a magical signature? Oh, you're right. Yeah, the mask does it, but it's because it's old, ancient. The problem magic. is it's reaching out to people because it is a pathetic little fragment that wants to use people with good hearts so that it can... Get away with whatever shit it wants to do. Good hearts aren't <laughs> required. What? What if we take the chisel to it, the mask? Well, isn't that what I they think... wanted to do? Remember? I don't know. I think they used it originally to make the mask. Am I right, Scott? Was it that they used the chisel to make the mask originally? They they wanted to make the chisel to carve into the into the standing stones. Mm-hmm. Well, I wonder. Th- so maybe the chisel could break the mask. Okay, well, let's give it a go. I guess I don't really oh. want to destroy the mask, but I at this point it's causing all of us problems, and I don't see it being. It's going to use us eventually. It's, eventually, I've already. It already broke me. I'm not going to go down that road again. Don't worry. I've already dealt with my feelings on that subject matter, but. I would hate to see it break any of you. The longer we hold on to it, the more likely it is. <clears throat> okay, well, yeah. let's... What do you hit? Well, let's find some place. <laughs> Not in the middle of town, because we have no idea what's going to happen when we mix ancient magic with magic we, we don't understand. So let's just go somewhere. Oh, let's just nuke the town. Let's do it right here. <laughs> <Boom. There's some laughs> <alley. laughs> Mushroom cloud. <laughs> um, I'll try to buy like a hammer to hit the hit the thing with because you know you need like a hammer to hit the chisel. Oh yeah, yeah. Still oh, can't I will um 
if, since we're in town, can I actually look for a bag of holding? Or, or some kind of, like, magic purveyor shop? Um, you can look around, and, and this is a big enough place that there probably would be, uh, I don't know if they, I don't think they would call it a magic shop, but, uh, you know, there'd be, it'd just be a, you know, a, exotic goods, right? Exotic so, goods or something like that. Something <laughs> unusual, but like, I always hated the name magic shop. <laughs> It just oh, seems okay. so um, pedestrian to me. It should be mis- mysterious. <laughs> um, <laughs> Fellows in the Emporium. Arcane Magical artifacts. Emporium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you need me to rule for something? Do I just no, so it? when you find it, it is not an easy place to find, but it's near, it is near the docks. You know, this, this town is built around the docks. Um, the town kind of wraps in a moon shape around the 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 docks and the in the port. Uh, so everything is within say eight or ten blocks of of either a warehouse or a dockage area or something. And it's about midway through that area, and it's sort of um, an area that is a little seedy. Mm-hmm. There are uh, people in there that seem to be. There are people mumbling to themselves a lot as you you as you approach. Uh, cool, cool. Uh, oh, you, you, I, um, I think Hippie would have gone with just because. I would have gone with just, you. Just, you just Maybe the whole group the was here. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. Like, yep. So. You've been through too much. <laughs> mm-hmm. So you. Codependent it now. You, <laughs> as you get in the area. You realize there's something unusual about the area. The the people all here all look like they might be um, homeless or um, a better word would be like broken. Uh-huh. What what do you need from from me? One of them goes up to you. We're looking for. Um place that sells uh sort of goods oh strange I, I, things. yeah i i know i i can show you and he takes your hand he tries to take your hand i can walk you if, if you'd like uh okay step in and, <laughs> step in and, uh, we can follow you you don't need to hold that uh, i i can't really guide someone without like Guiding them. I mean, that's what guides do, right? They just sort of... No, that's not what guides do. I got a dirty 20. Is he messing with us? Is he going to lead us to our deaths? Um, He is messing with you, probably. Whether it's to your deaths or not, you don't really know. Jay just kind of goes... I I can get you there. It's not far from here, you know. And... Um, are you, are you, you okay? Just point us in the direction. Look at is that does Jada give us that look like this? The non like, <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and them right in front of you, not even at you. Yes. So, my friend, Dad, they're uncomfortable with you in the way you're being. I tend to agree with them. I think we will find it on our own, or you can guide us without touching us. And if you don't think you can do that. You don't need to take anybody's hand. You can just go off and do your thing. Can I get a perception check from all of you? Natural 20. That's wow. a negative. That's Wait, hold on. No a negative. negative. <laughs> that's, well, no. <laughs> that's a no, I, I, but it's a 13. Okay. I forgot that I had my perception. So Fine. natural 20 to a total of 24. 24 yeah. for me. Six for me. Six. Oh, okay, guys, whatever. <laughs> wow. I see nothing. I see this sus guy in front and of me. Caridwin? 24. Wow, 324 is how weird. <laughs> you notice that as, <laughs> as, as he was trying to kind of take your hand to guide you, that there were other people near but behind that seemed to be moving slightly closer while he conversed. Oh. Those. Mm-hmm. All right. And 
Um, I, I can get you to fellows and fellows if you need it. I, I know where it is. It's not far. And um, if, I, if you don't wish. I wild shape into a black bear. I'm going <laughs> oh. to cast a new spell that I have. As soon as he goes to do this, this okay. spell doesn't hurt him. I, But this is for me to intimidate them. Resilient sphere. I picked this up because of our good friend Chandran. It's close to what he does. Basically, it's a shimmering force that encloses a creature, an object of large size or smaller. And basically, they can't get out of it. They can't do anything in it. Um, and it's a dexterity save, DC 15. Okay. Fails, fails the save. And he is literally in front of all them, all of his friends trapped inside of a bubble. And he's weightless. So we could pick him up and bump him around. And he can't get out. And Into I'm the to, water. <laughs> and I'm going to tell the others, we are not the kind of people that you want to mess with. Um, it's but, not worth No, it's not worth it. Why did you do this to me? I was trying to show you where where the... Where the, the and, I, and I just kind of point to the friends that are around. Oh, they're backing away. Especially when a bear a, a, arrives in the middle of you. Yeah. They don't just back away. They flee. And uh, they leave like only this one guy here. How light is the sphere? How light? How does it have a? It's weight? weightless. The sphere is oh, weightless. Oh, he's a mage hand to pick we it can, up. I'm yeah, a mage hand to pick it up. <laughs> Dribble it. You can guide this. Look, <laughs> we have a hand because <laughs> your mage hand. We can see your mage hand, right? Because only the rogues, yeah. I think that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can see, so, you see yeah. my mage hand just grab it like a basketball. Look, like a you ball. have a hand holding you. You can now guide us. We're bullies. Um, <laughs> okay, um, uh, let's just go this way then. <laughs> <laughs> and keeps looking back at the bear more than anybody else. I bring it closer to the bear. You want to get a closer look? I'm, no, no, I'm not looking at no. I don't need a bear. I'm, I'm just trying. And it's to like a, I can't pop through the sphere, right? No, no, we can't hurt him, and he can't. So hurt I'm us. just like now coming up. I'm like. <laughs> 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 I think they're hungry. Whoa. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> there's, um, but yeah, there's an immediate odorousness that was is oh unexpected. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> May chant as far as I get the, the full, <laughs> <laughs> the full thirty feet. Uh, like, okay, you just turn left oh. up here. We can get, a, we can get there very quickly. We just, and keeps. You know, side eyeing the bear, and <laughs> you know, and there's like n a new stain on on his oh. pants. Oh, this I'll is press so the cool. that. I'll fix that for him. This is sad. <laughs> it's this Can is that like... work through the sphere? <laughs> Does it work through the sphere? That's a good question. <laughs> right, you're right. It doesn't. But I'll fix that when we when we get oh, there. Oh, drop it the okay. Well, so there's a little pool of liquid in the bottom of the sphere. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 30 feet, 30 feet. I'm like, it's okay, just point. Just, uh, which, which way is it? Just here? Uh, and he guides you through some really weird alleys and twisting alleys, and then it opens up, and off on, and on your right, there's Fellows and Fellows Arcane Emporium. All right. I, I told you it was right here. I was just trying to guide you. I and, dropped you know. the sphere. I'll drop the sphere. And he falls. And I will, to his I'll hands. press the digitation his clothes, make them as clean as they've been since the day he bought them. And well, then I will. He backs <laughs> away from the bear. At the moment yeah. he's out of that thing, he's like backing away <laughs> from the bear as fast as possible. You, At this point, I've bear. taken Dwen's skirt and just like in my mouth. <laughs> After the first bite, they're really friendly. Trust me. After the first bite, you, you, you get over it. It's, it's, it's like you stop hurting eventually. And I just look at him and I go, now let's be honest. You know you were trying to set us up for something. But I'm going to do you solid. And I'm going to pull out three gold and give him three gold. <gasps> three gold? Uh, you just tell me, hip like, don't be showing up money. Here's three gold. Oh, my God. Well, you should have started with that. And it would have turned into, you know, it didn't well, have to be trying to take my was. friend's hand. No, it did not have to be that way. But you got a little handsy and you had some friends around us. And I didn't like it. So... I mean, what do you expect? Tell your You're friends kind of coming through our neighborhood. You know, we're, tell your we're friends for that if gold. we, you tell your friends well, that if they want to get get gold from us, be real with us, 
and we'll be more willing to work with them and maybe pay them for things. But none of the no more of this with this group. You understand? No, I understand. I got you have a bear. <laughs> I'm giving you this gold so you can also let the others know not to mess with us. I think you Spread the word. It's not Spread a the word. problem, but I can tell you they're not going to mess with you because, you know, bear. I'm sure. But I just want to make mm. sure. You have a good day, sir. And he backs into an alley and turns away. <clears throat> I like the the bear touch. Always such so bear. good. Great. When I come over and hug Vezrin, bear hug. Crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. he's not big, so he just like falls down. <laughs> it's true, he's not big. I just lick the side of his head so he gets a oh. big long cowlick in his hair. Oh. <laughs> oh. And because it's long hair, I'm like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> as soon as you get off, present hesitation. You literally right. scared the crap out of that man. <laughs> That's so funny. And, and the <laughs> urine. And the urine as well. Yeah. You got the full Monty of it. <laughs> Monty. <laughs> Doing just as well. I'm going to go inside now. Let's go. We oh sent so many mixed messages. <laughs> I'm trying to do it. What do you think of the spell? Huh? Like that sphere? We got the idea oh, from Chandra. Yeah, well, you know, it's <laughs> terrible as easy. It was an effective spell. It was very effective. And you know, we, we, we can use that for advantage too to maybe get someone up to places we couldn't get to. I have a, that's going to be, that's going to come in handy, I think. I have a Ooh. couple ideas. You can fly. Yes. Yeah. Oh, true, I guess. Forgot about, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I, I go, let's I go follow, inside. Uh, let's follow Dwin. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to de-bear or are you just going to stay like that? <laughs> I mean, there's no science and no animals, so I mean... Mm. <laughs> this door. is my guide bear. <laughs> <laughs> Your emotional Bezra support plus. bear. Bezra will act like he's blind. This is my seeing eye I'm a seeing eye bear. <laughs> it's a bear in a china shop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my I, God. <laughs> and when you... When you I, I assume you're going to go in and... Yes. And Dwayne actually already went in. Yes. <laughs> kind of in front of all of you. And there's a lot of things in here that look like um, knickknacks and collectibles. All ba- Many of them banged up. Some of them old looking. Most of them look like things you don't know what they're for. You know, if you ever, if you ever go into like an antiquarian kind of shop, there's all kinds mm-hmm. of things that they're interesting, but you don't know what they are. That's this. I will cast detect magic. The place is full of magic. Not everything okay. is magic, by the way. Yeah, but there's a this lot way. Of it. I want to have this on because if they try to sell us something that isn't magical, then I, that's cool. You know, kind of thing. Okay. Are, there, are there any books at all? Too any kind of weird books or anything like that, or no? Come on, dice. Yes. Yes. Okay. After we look for what we're looking for, we're gonna look at some of those. After we look for the, the okay. bag. All right. Yeah. So you get in, and there's a, an old woman at the at what looks like a counter. It's not really dressed up like a counter, but it looks like a little desk. And she kind of waddles out from behind, and she's short. There's something I can help you all with. You found your way over here to. From the yes. docks, it looks like. Yes, of course. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Hibley. Um, and we're, this is Desis, Vesrin, um, Jada, Dwen. Yes, we just we just arrived. And we're looking to see if you have maybe a bag of sorts. One that's more on the, uh, you know, maybe. Spacious side. Yes. Oh, you mean a, a bag of holding. Yes, a bag of holding. If you this sounds delightful, I don't have one of those, Ooh. but I've heard of them. I have heard that they're out there. What, what do you have? <clears throat> everything here. But what is everything? <laughs> well, what is it you you want other than that bag? Well, I have a bird cage here, and it is magical. 
What kind of magic is it's, is it emanating? Uh, it would be. It would be transformation. What does it do? Hmm. I detect uh, transformation magic on it. Um. In she opens the cage, the front of it. The it needs a bird. Why don't you reach in and see if the, you can find a bird in there? <laughs> Just, yes, Vesper, put your head inside. It's completely <laughs> safe. Vesper's <You're> <laughs> like, no, I'm good. And I snap and Saul appears on my shoulder. I have a bird. <laughs> if one of you want to reach inside, I'm not putting my hand in that cage. You know what? No. Hippo will put his, wants to be more brave, he'll put his hand in the cage. He'll go there for you it. Go, Hippo. Okay, you do it. <laughs> Yeah, you do it. <laughs> Make me a wisdom save. Oh, God. God. come on. <laughs> come on now. Old lady, tell me to put my hand in a cage. I ain't doing that shit. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Well, that's an eight. Okay. So he puts his hand in, and immediately his whole body is pulled in, and he becomes a canary in the cage. Yes. My dream. <laughs> <laughs> And, and then I cl- turn to the and rest. She, and I go, she and closes that's the cage. Um, Would you like to buy this bird and cage together? Oh, my, mother. My friend, no. my and I friend stand out. up on my hind legs. I'm only Ooh, joking with you. Of course I'll let him out. Blast you to oblivion. <laughs> do, do, do I know my bird? Do I like you? Do I like realize like I'm a bird? Um, you don't. I, you are thinking more like a, a bird. Yeah. You're a bird. Wow. All right. All right. <laughs> This is the life. Now you can <laughs> sing good. <Yeah. laughs> I will whistle. I'll probably will whistle just like a happy bird. Like, wow. I, I do turn to the others and go, and this is why you never put your hand in something <laughs> without knowing what it does. <laughs> <laughs> and she reaches in and, and gently takes the bird out. And as soon as the bird exits the edge of the cage, Hipley transforms from the canary back to his own self. Does he like spit out feathers or anything? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's still a few feathers on his body. He's, you'll have to pluck those out. Hippie, you okay? It, it wasn't a perfect transformation back. There's some feathers going to have to be cleaned what? out. What? Oh my God, it's going to hurt. Uh, yeah. Is, you seem interested in the cage you wanted. Mm. Okay. You're just excited. Your your friend that is a bear seems hmm. Perhaps the bear could use a treat. And she goes back behind the, the thing and she pulls out a bone and it's got like it's gnawable. It looks like a, a good big a good sized bone. Something to gnaw on? Are you berries, maybe? Would you like berries? Let me go. And she goes back and she pulls out berries. And she puts berries out in front. Have those? I imagine it's almost like uh, from Brave, if you've ever seen it, the mother bear when she's first transformed, like mm-hmm. very animated and acting. So I'm just like on my back legs, now my paws on my hips, my bear hips. And I'm just like Woo! gesturing to her while looking at everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's um she's a druid, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I I sense that food is not a motivator for this bear. It must be something do you, else. Do you have any rings or cloaks of protection or robes? Of course. Or what kind of a magic shop would this be if I didn't have those things? Do you, have a hat? you don't have a bag of holding. So. Hats too. Well, that is true. I don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> How much is a bird I can't cage? Everything. You want the cage that turns you into a bird? I mean, it would be good if I needed to transport someone. It was actually pretty peaceful being a bird for a second. It was actually oddly really like you see life just differently, you know, when you're like a bird, like you I don't know, I just it's just well just I don't know, my just got kinda you still have feathers on your back. I will admit that. You know, um, Dwayne has a good, good, good point with that. 
if for some reason we took a job where we needed to move somebody who nobody they, they didn't want to be found we, we have them as a bird or if we come across somebody that we need to apprehend are those the kinds there. of jobs you take perhaps i could find uh, your work then if that's what you're looking for Mm. Whoa! whoa, whoa. I mean, We're perhaps, fine. perhaps. Do you have any jobs that might take us? Or, well, I guess a better question would be: Do you have a means of transportation to the um, east? There are ships here that sail east frequently, but not any uh, magical means that you know of. Not necessarily yours, but just come on, days. Um, not that I have here. I'm sorry. Well, Nothing I'm that would sorry. Transport you instantly or anything? No. It's a long shot. And he's so. I'm interested in robes of protection, uh, rings of protection, or even um, spell scrolls, if you have any. I have spell scrolls. Are you? Hmm. I have to know whether you were capable of using them. I'm currently able to cast things similar to like banishment spells, and polymorph, things like that. That's about where my level of understanding is. Hmm. Give but I'm always moment. interested in scrolls that are higher up to learn down the road. And she goes mm. back into the back. Into mm. a back room. Yes, Bear. Yes, Bear. I'll, yes, I'll Bear. I was trying to, like, gesture to the group. I'm... A hammer? Oh, I know this is my charades. Hold on. She wants a Look, fishing X. rod. She wants a fishing pole. And I'm, like, <laughs> pawing at Hipley when he said a hammer. Oh, oh the hammer. See? Oh. Charades. We just need a normal hammer if you have one. A magic hammer might be useful too, though. Uh, sure. And best one, I'll say self help lead. Are any of these books magical? So you share in your mind. Are any of these books magical? Going? There is one book that is. But all books are truly magical. Yes. What, what, yes. what am I sensing from yes. the book? Is it. What kind of. What am I. <laughs> What kind of magic? Um, hold on. Let me look up what kind that is. Sweet demon magic. Like, no. <laughs> I really do want to buy that birdcage, though. Like, I'm not, I really do want to buy that. <laughs> I guess it's a good yeah, item. I was kind of interested in it. How much money do we do we all get from that split? From what did do we we took it right from? Bridges was holding it for us, but we took it when we yeah, left. We got our split money. Okay, it was like a hundred fifty because Desus had nothing, and then had that, and then it all disappeared. <laughs> Yeah. Has weapons. <laughs> it's called the yeah. Book of Unexpected Luck. <laughs> and it has. What kind of magic is that? I like that Jesus is reading the true magic. Conjuration. Conjuration. I would say, I basically would steal Deesis' line. All books are magical, but that one seems to have a added layer of magic on conjuration magic. Ooh. I will go look at, I'm going to pick up that book and kind of look at it. I, you should be careful. Don't just open it. <laughs> Touch things. I would, I would ask her, word. I would ask her first. It, it could do something if you just open it up. A book has never really, well, there was that one book. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Books can be magically, you know, sealed magic can be on them to cause pain. So I would just make sure. Oh, wait. Yes, you're, <laughs> you're right. I'll, I'll hold off. 
and she comes out and she has a basket with scrolls in it. This is what I have along the lines of what I think you are capable of, of casting, the types of spells you're able to cast. Oh, I would be careful with that book. It's not really a book, you know. What? What do you mean it's not really a What does it do? It has it has a monkey's paw inside it. And that means um, Okay. <laughs> and she no, comes over it. and she and she comes over to you and she puts it down on the desk in front of you and she pulls like very daintily touches the corner of it of the book cover and pulls it off open and inside it there's a cut in area of wood with a paw of a monkey that's holding three fingers up like this but it's a monkey's hand not a human hand <clears throat> it's it it brings you things you desire three of them to be specific and she closes it <laughs> like um, things you wish for or yes like... oh. that's creepy yeah, seems... and interesting at the same time it seems kind of dangerous I'm sure there's oh, like it is definitely a dangerous thing you have to be very careful with what you wish for correct I'm assuming it almost doesn't matter what you wish for with this one it it gives you what you wish for but in a way that maximizes the misery of it oh Bezra will kind of grab the, the book out of Hippolyte's hands let's just go ahead and put this back for now we have enough misery to deal with <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's, it's an that. excellent item if you wish to uh, cause enemy. problems for someone that is not yourself I, oh I messaged Bezra like maybe for Naos I might have said his name wrong like, so if so let's say we were like, oh, I wish that this person over here will get, you know, this, blah, 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 blah. It'll bring them the misery with the wish? Oh, no, it would bring you the misery if you were the one okay. using it. They would probably get exactly what you wanted them to get. You know, They would get the good side of it, and you would live with the misery of them getting that. But what if and I wanted you... them to get the bad side of it? I have to make them... I don't. I don't make the rules. Yeah. The gods make the rules. Whoever made these things, yeah, this ancient I, magic, made the rules. Let's just put this back up on the shelf for now. <laughs> Do I have any hats? Oh yes. Hmm. You have kind of a big head for you're a big person. Oh, whoa. <laughs> you're, you're a big person. Uh, what I have a few that me? might fit you. Are you looking for fashion? Are you looking for um, what? Not anything in particular, just whatever you have. <clears throat> well, let me put the scrolls down here, and you can like look through. But don't try and cast anything from there, or you'll pay for it. Understood. Do it, Bezrin. No, that's wrong. Bezrin's too much of a goody goody. He wouldn't do that. And she brings out three hats. One of them is a big wide brimmed one. And it has like black feathers wrapping it. Like it's all it's all feathers. <clears throat> Try that one on. Let's see how it looks on you. So she takes it and places it on her head. And the moment she places it on her head, she looks like a shadow. Whoa, whoa like just wait just like just dark like black like, like dark like a dark shadow standing in the middle of the room oh that's creepy i mean you look great <laughs> so, oh <my. laughs> what, what do i look like to me is there a mirror in here you're you don't you well once you look at a mirror you realize you look like a shadow you look like oh. you're just a dark dome 
Stand in the Is corner. It? Stand in the corner. Let's see you there. She goes to the corner. <clears throat> and you just look like a shaded corner in the in the room. Oh. Hmm. Pretty shady. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, what's, what are you else got? And she hands you another hat. It's a little hat. Like one of those ones that you, like a little round one without a brim at all. And yeah. like you have to, you, you would normally pin it on or something, like with hat uh, pins. Fascinator. A what? Fascinator. Like little oh, that's what they're you called? Fasten on your head, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. It's cool. Yes, like that. Okay, she puts it on. And... So, how do you feel wearing it? Um, feel... When, when you go to say, um, you don't say, um. You immediately begin speaking much more eloquently than that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel resplendent. Oh. Non words that could be described. <laughs> Poets could not describe how great I feel. For this day, the dawn shines for me. <laughs> I think that's a hat for you, for sure. You have a lot of words in your head that it can take advantage of. <clears throat> <clears throat> yes. I I reads again. Try it. <laughs> Do you want to try? Oh my it? God! On the. <laughs> Okay, I take the hat and I put it on Bear. Okay. Please tell me the bear talks. Please tell me the bear can talk. <laughs> and the bear, the bear talks like a bear talking. <laughs> Scooby Dooish. <laughs> we can give we can give Deezus a shadow hat. We get that dude. We just put him right in the corner. Of the... Oh man! Give us a bear <laughs> hiding in the corner. <laughs> Row, row. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, but I can't. I'm crying. Best friend, how come? Oh, she can try to hass? No, because <clears throat> not, that's okay, but if, if Hibley does it. Uh, first off, I was against anybody doing any of this, but you were turned into a bird a moment ago by sticking your hand in a cage. <laughs> As one is wont to do sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a good thing. And you have to admit, I was correct about the book. I mean, it wasn't a book, so. so <laughs> <laughs> and then the third hat she hands to you. Now, be careful, because you can use one of its. Um, one of its charges if you're not careful and you put it on it's got a, a brim it's it's a, a pretty hat and all right who would you like to use a charge on one of your friends what does it do <laughs> it keeps them in place so they can no longer move Ooh, that would be fun go ahead me. Try it. All right, Hefty. I focus on him. <laughs> I, ju I jump in midair, like make a compose. Hefty, make me a wisdom save. <laughs> can I? So if he just in midair and fails, can, can you fail it? Let me can, can I fail on purpose? Because I want to see the effect happen. Could I fail on purpose? Uh, you. You can. You can save him. You can. You can choose to fail. I'll choose to fail. I want to see if it, because I got an eighteen, so I'll allow it to happen. Because I feel okay. like an eighteen would would do so, I'll allow it to happen. Yeah. And you are incapable of moving. You are held. Uh, Jada, catch it before he hits the ground, because he jumped up. So... <laughs> <laughs> Rock hard. <laughs> Stiff. I poke him in the abs. I poke him in the abs. He does have rock hard abs. I stay ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's you, you can sense what's going on around you. You just can't do anything about it. Everybody poke Hipley. Poke him. <gasps> I waddle over <laughs> and just big long lick around the face. <laughs> <laughs> I just cry on the inside. So <laughs> 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 
That happened. <laughs> well, you should let your friend go. You can't leave him there all day. Oh, I released the spell. <sighs> First Thanks, digitation. Jesus. I got you. First <laughs> digitation. <laughs> Well, I like I like the shadow can. hat, and I like this other hat I'm wearing now. You can only wear one hat at a time, you know. It looks <gasps> silly having multiples. Well, how much oh are all these hmm. items? How much are the hats? Well, the the shadow hat is three hundred gold pieces. <gasps> Ooh, I mean, that's nothing. <laughs> right. The hat of eloquence. That one is only one hundred and fifty gold pieces. That's not so bad. I mean, if you're looking for a, a bargain, of course. Um, the the hat of holding, though, you might be able to to do well with that. That seems like something up your alley. That one is only 140 gold pieces, so it's not terrible. Like you could go down maybe a little bit. I feel like. I mean, if we, what if what if I want to buy the bird cage as well? I mean, what how much is a bird cage? The birdcage is a, is a unique item. There is no other in the world like that. Well, Do you want it because you wish to be a bird or because... Hmm. A... You seem to be particularly enamored with the life of bird. You even came out with some feathers still attached. No, I have my reasons. It could definitely can come in in handy, I mean... Well, it, it it's, is it's 600 a... gold pieces. How much is it? 600 gold pieces. Oh, 600. 600. It's a powerful magic item, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's... Probably the powerful people really want to sell to me. That price seems a little steep for what it is. I mean... I wish we had a rogue. What, which scrolls are there, by the way? <laughs> I don't trust magic shops. Sorry, I know you hate that word, but... They will mess you up, rogues or not. Um, I learned a long time ago, never steal from a, a, a place that has magic items. I have successfully <laughs> stolen so many magic items <laughs> as a rogue. But to be fair, my, my, my sleight of hand is plus 16. So, Well, I mean, I've had it to where they had it to where it was like protected. So when you did it, like they were able to track you down later. I would definitely try to talk them. To, I, like, I mean... I'm sure we can come to sort of maybe a deal. I mean, if this is something that's a little steep, I'm sure there's something else. Maybe a little more I mean, rational over items such as that quality. The scrolls that are in there are uh, Fog Cloud. Not my style. Alter self. I already got that. Uh, levitate. That's probably useful. Web. Mm. Fear. Sleet storm. Fabricate. Mm, fabricate is cool. That's. Stone skin. Ooh, stone skin, that's a good one. And mislead. Oh, mislead's cool. Mm. How much and how much are each of those scrolls? Fabricate, stone skin, and um the last one, shit. Uh mislead. 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 How much are those each one of those? Get some prices. So, so if I get any of them or not. If I cast, if you cast a Justin, like I'm reading it, if they fail, it's not like they know that they're being suggest, like it's being cast upon them. I was asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> if I, because I'm reading, I don't think they're gonna know if I do it because I might cast a Justin um... in a second. Okay. Not items. Uh, 
All right. So the the less expensive ones, the lower level ones, first, second, first and second levels, they're 150 gold pieces each. The third level uh, are 400 gold pieces each. The fourth level is 800 gold pieces. I don't, think, I don't think there's anything higher than I don't think they, there was anything higher than fourth, right? Yeah, fabricate. That's the ones I'm interested in. I think were the you know, the higher level oh. ones. <clears throat> you got to pay to be a wizard. Any... Yeah, I know. Well, do you have any uh, those protection uh, cloak of protection? <laughs> Let's go back to that. How much might that be? And I, I think my friend Hippie yeah. had some questions about the the cage that. No. Um, You've probably had on that cage for a long time now. So let's say like 150 gold, it gets out of here. I'm going to cast a suggestion. Let's say 150 gold, Don't take it do out that. of here. Wait till we're done. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, I'll wait. I'll get it for my pull. So no, so no best room was looking for someone. So I will, because I would know they're doing something. So that's what we're leaving to pop that. God. So I'm going back it up a bit. Just, nope. You increase the price on everyone. Like, nah, it's like $8,000. <laughs> 8,000 gold. So I will, I'll wait to do that till the rest of them send what, what they're looking at, the hat and everything else. I'll wait. Yeah, I like I like that last hat. What do you like, Dwin? I the like, shadow was cool, too. I like the shadow hat and the hat of holding. Yeah, I like the hat of holding. That could be useful in a fight, too. Oh, man, yeah. that's so useful. The mm -hmm. cloak of protection they have is 600 gold pieces. Mm -hmm. nope. can't, I can't afford that right now. Plus ones on all those saving throws. And your AC, and AC, damn. Yeah, but it's but it's an uncommon item. It's not that big of a deal. Wow. And plus, you got your shield. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted it for the saving throws. Um. <clears throat> okay, so how much was the shadow hat? Three hundred gold, and then the other, and then the hat of holding was one fifty. One forty. One forty. Oh, one forty. Okay. That's a really good deal for the whole. That's crazy. It's a really good deal. <clears throat> Is it only one I... charge per day or what? Mm -hmm. I want to know. How many charges does the hat have? Oh, two. Two? Okay. I'll take the shadow and the whole hat of holding. Well, I, I like. I, I can buy the hat of holding. Oh, okay. I'll, I like the shadow hat. Um. So you said 300. Mm -hmm. If we get both the shadow hat and the hat of holding, can you give a discount on it? It's only definitely only fair to do that, I feel like. I mean, two sales is pretty good, I would say, especially for a place, you know. So I would go to 420 for the for the two. Is it? Oh, um, can I incite her just to? We're make twenty. Sure she, hmm. Make sure, sure she's not holding out on us. Do not sure. four four hundred four hundred two. As she's inciting, I'm saying that to yep. see if that you know pushes her, so you can see what she's thinking. Uh, that's a fifteen oh. on my insight. Look at that face. <laughs> I think I think the your bear wants something different. I think, I think I was trying to be cute bears. so she may bring down the price. <laughs> <sighs> Let's see. Another 400. Make me a persuasion check. Can I give him an advantage of some kind of helping? Sure. With that, because I'll work him. Work and I'm cute. <laughs> yeah. That's very helpful because the first <laughs> roll was a five, the second roll is a 16. Okay. Uh, 16 <sighs> plus persuasion, right? Yeah. Plus five, so it'd be 21. Woo. All right. I'll do 400 for you. You seem like a nice lot. And the, and oh. the bear is very cute. Mm. <laughs> Yay. But hi, Q. Oh, I open up my arms and be like, oh. And she comes in the... and takes the hug. <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let Dwayne get the, the discount from it. That's like 40 off from like the 300 hat. 
and I'll just do the I'll do the one forty for the okay. one hat. Okay, so that's two sixty. Three binding to the gifts. Aww. So back to this cage though. So is everyone else done here? Is it five? Because I'm going. To... Oh, <laughs> I might be interested if you have rings. We, I do have rings. What, what are, what kinds of things are you interested in? I don't know what you got. Are you? I'm kind of new to the whole magic item thing. Well. They are pretty amazing, of course. Let's see what I got. Jesus, do you want anything? Mm -hmm. I kind of pat my sides, my imaginary pants, because I'm a bear right now. I'm just like mimic as though like that whole empty pockets. <laughs> Yeah. This is not so gold anymore. <laughs> yeah, but do you, oh. do you want anything? I think I know what, what, mm. what you look like. You're quite the soldier of some kind. I guess you could say that. And she goes back and she pulls out a little box. She goes, this ring would make sure you could always move. You could be capable of complete movement, even under the duress of things trying to hold you back. How much for that one? Try it on. Mm. <laughs> and it doesn't feel like it does anything particularly special here. <laughs> I have my detect oh. magic up though. Is it is it is it magical? Yeah, it's magical. Maybe we could try maybe we test it with the hat we just bought. I mean right? I mean when if you tried to maybe do that holding because well, if, I, if I understand that, correctly yeah. well, that's right if you want to because I, I take it that if you were using like that they would still be able to move if you want to try okay. it on the veteran we've already used one challenge for the day but so. would that be true would Maybe. what be true if I was to use like that holding ability from the hat, would they be able to break free from that with that ring? Oh, the hat would do nothing to to them. All right. Well, I'll take the ring and it'll cast on you. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm assuming you would allow it to happen to where that way yeah. the ring could, to, could break through it. Yeah. What are you casting? Hold person? Yeah, the, the old person. Okay. And you are completely able to move. It has no effect on you. It'd be funny if you just stood like a robot. Ah. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just she kidding. Doesn't, she doesn't joke like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Hello. Okay. <clears throat> what do you want for it? I'll let that one go for 1,500 gold pieces. 1,500? Oh. Jesus Christ. That's what Jay goes. Let me just go oh, you're telling, the you're, door. Fibbing. you're telling a joke. <laughs> you're fibbing. 1,500. That is a, such a funny joke. Is there okay. a way I can trade something for it? Do you have things to trade? That Sure. My services. Or <laughs> I've got this. Take out the dagger that i still have the black dagger oh the yeah yeah the, hey 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 hey, the, hey the that's chris. and i i'm aware but we're not gonna see him for a minute <laughs> was, i'd was rather not dagger. give him something i'd rather not give him something that is so dangerous and from a hag <laughs> it's actually not that dangerous the weapon itself is fine <clears throat> and she puts out a, a, a black velvet cloth place it here let me examine it. And she... I should have asked this first. I'm looking at Dwayne. She casts a spell. Uh... And then she casts a second spell. Hmm. It takes Detect for a little while. Was it, was it detect magic well, and identify? Yes. 
you can tell it's pretty quality that that dagger right there just saying this is an interesting dagger how did you come about how did you acquire this oh you can't oh potato yeah Ooh. <laughs> Hmm. Which is to say, if you need anything dead, we could probably do it. If it's evil um, and deserves it and has it coming, I mean. <laughs> so, <laughs> are, you, are you interested in parting? Evil? Are we specifying evil? Oh, okay. Are you interested in parting with the dagger or in services that the dagger could be used for? Or Do we have blind for side quests? No, <laughs> no, not at I mean, all. That's we, we could, we could. It might get us an extra coin. Well, that, that's what I was. That's what I was thinking. Is, and is if it we're kind of low on east. coin. We're, long, we're, we're low, low on coin. coin. It could take us east. It could. It could um, give us a bundle perfect. deal. That's just what Jade is thinking. Go kill this perfectly good person. Jada was was a mercenary for a while, so yeah. Oh. Do you got anything that'll take us east? Terms of contracts. Hmm. Well, that depends. How do you feel about criminal activities? Thwarting. <clears throat> Thwarting. Ah. Uh, no, I meant the other way. Oh. Well, who's it to? What are we doing? So you're interested in crime, but only in a moral way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. It's a good way to put it. I'm not sure if that it's... I have many, many buyers for that kind of <laughs> criminality. No. <laughs> well, I suppose righteous causes usually are low on coin. They don't usually want you to ask the questions you're already asking. <laughs> Is there scavenging you want us to do? Scavenging? Yeah, dangerous places where you need certain items. Hmm. Hmm, delving. She's like, yeah, this person's house, so you know, if you want to... This person's, person's house, house is real dangerous. <laughs> I, I have no need of that type of service, but Luxavel may have... Luxville. Okay. He, he is a a caster in the in the city, but he does occasionally go looking for um, acquisitions in ancient places, and he does look for teams. All right. Well, where does sometimes this... those teams return? Probably face for a song. <laughs> Where does Luxville? Where can we find him or her? Then, this person. Uh, <laughs> Luxville can be found on uh, the dockside streets over by the uh, the big warehouse. Ah, right. uh, okay. Well, what do they look like? She said, what they look I'll, like? I'll let her, I'll oh. let her know you're coming and they'll find you. Okay. Vez is going to slowly pick up the dagger. Are you interested in just <laughs> selling the dagger? Look at Jada like... <laughs> well, I, I, think, Jada, I think they wanted to trade for I mean, the ring and see if they Jada can... Jada fully rolls their eyes. <laughs> I would trade the ring for the dagger. I think that's a equitable trade i've said jay's mind that we shouldn't do that means that it's probably worth a lot more if they're willing to do it i say that just telepathically yeah i don't i would agree with that yeah you, you, yeah you, I, I think i think well you have the dagger now but i'll be i will just take the ring off and say i'm pretty crafty myself i don't actually need it but it would be cool hmm Vesmer's going to take the hat off and put it on Jada. I actually think the hat could be useful by you. This does not my no. You look <laughs> awesome. At it. You look awesome Here. at it. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Well, I mean, um, 
I don't mind. I don't mind having it. I don't mind if Hippley has it. I just want it to yeah. be used. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think one of us should have that because that'd be really useful in battle, especially by one of the casters. I'll put it on Dasis's head. Will that Ooh. fit with your horns? <laughs> it's small. Like it's a little. Oh no, that it had. I'm sorry, it had a brim. Um, it can be made if to it's fit. Just like on on the yeah. on the back yeah, of the your head. Yeah. yeah. Bust what's up. I I've never asked this, but I want to ask this now. When you wild shape, do you still have your horns? <laughs> That's a thought. No. What tight looking bear? <laughs> it would be right. A bear with like scary, horns. Scary looking bear. Oh shit! <laughs> Some of my natural like skin patterning does kind of shift through a bit. So where uh, the virtual is, um, it's like more a lighter beige on the black bear because it's blackbird bear. It's much lighter on the muzzle and around the eyes, and then kind of the patches all throughout. Yeah. I never asked it before. So I was like, let me ask. That'd be so kind of cool. Well, are, we, are we good? To go? I think we're good. Yeah. So mm. then I will. We're about to go. Um, so I'm going to cast a gesture and be like, no, that birdcage, we know that's not going to ever come out of here. So why not say, give you 150 gold, let's take it out of here because no one knows going to buy that. I mean, Vincent's already stepped out the door. <laughs> yeah, just like, oh, bother. <laughs> and she. Yeah. Looks at you and gold. she goes, "I really don't appreciate the suggestion that you're, you're that you're making. I'm a fair dealer." I can't blame a guy for trying for something like that for a piece like that. So, and I do feel that price is a tad high. So, you could counter if you wished. I haven't heard another offer from you. How much money do does Hipley have? Because I know I had some money from looked over from. Well, in your library, you have a, a bunch of money. Hmm. Oh. Might, might come back. Yeah, let me let me, let me get back to you. <laughs> let, me, let me get back to you. Let me stop by my um okay. my uh, bank of sorts, and then I'll I'll come back to you. But I do uh, I do I would like that piece. I'll put it. On, I'll put it on hold for a day or two, if you wish. Oh yes, that'd be that'd be wonderful. Yes. And she and again, apologies. The apologies for the suggestion. I'm ex- the it just the big cage is. Uh, <laughs> I've just it's just a really good piece. So what I do I find apologize for that. Is, group. Are you? Do you have interest in in being a bird or more interest in being in a cage? I look. I look around as anyone's ever left. Yeah, you're just. Yeah. Yeah. What is Hippley doing? So, <laughs> <laughs> so no, um, you know what? Uh, why not? My my mother, she she likes birds. We, we don't have the best relationship anymore. It's things get strained, and you know, if if I was a bird, she didn't know I could. I don't know see her again and be able to spend a moment with her without all the um animosity that's built up over for years and, and time so yeah i mean so no i mean it's not like i have any particular reason for it but and I'm, i do think that the canary is her if i can remember it's been like i said the, the times <laughs> it's been a while since i've actually spoken to her but i think the canary was her favorite bird so that's all hmm. you should keep her from coal mines um, uh-huh. you want to make a persuasion check yeah oh all right yeah i'll definitely do that i'll give you a persuasion yeah. check let's see if you can oh. make her feel your story yeah probably not 14 yeah <laughs> Bless, Bless you. you. Another one. Bless, Bless you. you. Yes. Um, you know, fourteen is a good roll. <laughs> it's not a bad I mean, roll. It could be higher though. It's not. It's not like a twenty. So. <laughs> the, uh, this this cage is a very unusual item. Very. It takes a select type of person to find 
interest and use in something like this. So if you want, I'll knock 50 gold off it. He said, let me, let me check. Let me, I, I will see to get some. Uh, I'll hold it for a few days. It sounds so. like you need to go check your finances. Yes. Yep. So yep, you'll see, you'll definitely, you'll definitely be seeing me again. Um, but yeah, it was nice. Like I said, for, for now, it was nice meeting you. Um, I think my friends are waiting outside, so I'll go back and meet with them. And, and have a good night. You too. And you head out, and they're all waiting outside, looking through the, through the window. He's trying to give Jada a bear hug. Oh. Why? Mm. Why? What is with the hugging? Are we <laughs> huggers now? For sure. Okay. <laughs> the huggers. That's a nice. There we go. <laughs> pat, pat the head. Okay, you're cute. I joined. The book club <laughs> huggers. <laughs> you get sandwiched between a bear and a furbolg. Oh <laughs> God. It's not often Jada feels short. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you head out, and I think this is a good place for us to, to break. I, I, I would want to do one thing. I would want to give Hippley the dagger, because he's the only okay. person without a magic weapon at this point. Okay. I'm not taking, no. Dagger, <laughs> no. I'm not taking a dagger. Oh, my gosh. It's a really <laughs> special, cool dagger. It actually my really head. is a really dope dagger. Yeah, I cast darkness. I know. I've seen. I think. It's, I think I saw. Um, I think it does. Talson tried it, right? I think we uh -huh. first got. I think he tried it out. Yeah. 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 Right. So this is Talson. It's not mine. Talison liked it. Well, you know, like if you spend charges, you can do damage with it, extra damage with it as well. So it's a useful dagger. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> Just needs to hit these pockets sometimes. Just like, what the hell is this? And Hipley has a, a library weapon. <laughs> yeah, can which which, which we can go just to, magic. which we'll talk about next session. We can, I think it's been that many days, so yeah. we can definitely talk about if we need to stop there at all. Actually, so. two weeks. It's actually supposed to be around the time that those guys are coming back. Mm -hmm. So anytime now we can, because it's been, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Awesome. So next session. Are yeah. two weeks here the same as two weeks there? I don't. I don't think know. That. I don't oh think gosh, so. yeah, probably. Find out. Time's like twice as fast. It's been two years. We're well, on the boat for two weeks. Yeah, he's dead, and his his apprentice has taken over at this point. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> really, like, I, I'm the new owner of this library. Oh man! All right. You know, time's a funny soup. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right. All right. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you uh, next week. Actually, it will be in two weeks. I'm going to be out of the country next week. So Ooh, for it's work. good. It sucks, oh. but it's good. That's I awesome know. and hard. Okay, right. well. See you in a couple you. weeks, everybody. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye. Bye.